It's been way too long, I've been building walls around me. Keep my distance so you never know too much about me. Trying to keep you out because I love my safe space. But the problem is, I never looked into my own face. Everybody, how's it going? What's up, everybody? Almost time. 40 seconds. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready for some building? Some special stuff. It's gonna be awesome. I'm doing good, guys. I'm doing good. What's up, everybody? How you doing? Happy, happy Wednesday. It's Roby Tech Day. So much is going on. Yeah, we got we got we got stuff to build. We got stuff to stuff to do. Let's see how many people we already got. What? Uh, some number of people already here. Let me check and see how our numbers are doing. Oh, okay. Well, we got a couple hundred people here already. I, I'll take it. I'll turn down the volume a little bit on this. A little high. It's a little high. I've got I've got some new setup, guys. I've got a new screen. Um, the uh, super o super people at Leapow, Leapow. I'll, I'll have to get a link for them. Um, they uh, sent me over this attachable screen. So I've actually got. Um, you guys may not be able to see it. Maybe you can see it. You guys can see it in the front left. I guess you can't see what it looks like right now. I'm, I'm going to pull this out of the way so you guys can see. Yeah, you can see it a little bit over here. This is a 1080p portable screen. Hey, thank you very much for the embers. They got a 1080p portable screen that they sent me that I'm going to be reviewing. Um, it's HDR. Um, it lets me like like lets me show uh, lets me uh, use the extension. So I have my chat here, and then I've got my moderators now, so they can kind of highlight things so I can see chat a little bit better. Because I'm spending a lot of time looking over here. I've got a, a 60 inch television that kind of has all my chat and stuff like that. So we're kind of messing around, getting some new, getting used to some new parts. Um, guys, today is a hefty build. I think this one comes in at $6,000 pre-tax. Uh, this is gonna, this is hopefully gonna fix. I know a lot of people have been complaining about this audio popping that you've been hearing. I'm hoping that this is going to fix. I have a very, very old, I think it's an i7-6700K that I've been kind of sitting in here. Um, I built a bunch of machines and then I wanted to use this. I have this $22,000 PC that we're going to be building in a Lee & Lee uh, D05 uh, desk case, which will actually take some of the components that I'm gonna be using today. We're gonna be using that as the eventual when we move to the new studio. A um, couple, couple, couple rooms down, um, which will have some more room. But in the meantime, I wanted to get this new system up and running because I kind of want to help bring up the overall quality of my uh, overall quality of my stream, which I think is important. Um, and uh, it's going to be, it's going to be crazy. Yeah, this is a six thousand dollar build, and this is half of the stuff that's going in the twenty two thousand dollar build. Um, because the case in the $22,000 build is $2,000 alone, so it's a, or $2,500, so it's going to be, uh, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be absolutely crazy. Um, let's go through the dealio. Let's talk a bit about what's happening today, so you guys are aware of what's going on. Um, so uh, here's this is Roby Tech. If you're new here, if this is the first time you've ever been here, I'll kind of give you guys the rundown of what's going to be happening. So first and foremost. Um, we have a couple giveaways. No matter what, we're gonna give away a $25 new aid gift card. But if you're here on Mixer and we get uh, up to 20 subs, then we will give away a $50 new aid gift card. If we get to 100 subs, sorry, if we get to 40 subs, we'll give away a $100 new aid gift card. Then if we get to uh, 60 subs, we'll give away a 5700 XT, which I, oh, here it is right here. Um, this is a special one too. This is the, uh, we have this is well this is the special one but we're going to be giving away this one right here this is the 50th anniversary edition of the 5700 xt if we get to 60 subs so um lots going on that's kind of the general deal every 10 subs we get we give away uh game pass so we give away three months of xbox game pass ultimate so that's good for both you xbox players and your pc players um if you want to basically play some games it gives you access to 99 games uh 99 uh 99 uh, sorry 100 pc games 100 xbox games We'll be doing that for every 10 subs. Do we want to get that started? That'd be pretty awesome if we want to just get that started. So let's just do that first sub. If you're hanging out on YouTube, as you're hanging out, make sure that you're hitting that like button. I know we have 120 of you hanging out right now, so make sure you hit that like button because that's how people get and see my content and all that sort of stuff. Now, I also, uh, just a little bit of a change to New Egg. I'm sorry, to Roby Tech a little bit. I'm making sure that every time I go in there, because we have like New Egg now that starts tomorrow, where we're gonna be fixing a PC that got damaged in shipping, and then we're also gonna be uh, doing some bench testing and stuff like that. But I have put together, and I'm trying to have one put together every week 
a thousand dollar build. I'll try, I might do a couple different ones and we're gonna show how that PC runs tomorrow. We've got, we got everything to put the bench test together. The bench, this is kind of what we're doing tomorrow. We're gonna get all the bench, the bench put back together. We've got Z490 and 10th gen Intel that we're gonna be uh, hanging out and showing off as well. So we got that coming up soon. We've also got, uh, we've also got uh, the new Ryzen 3s that we're gonna be playing around with here on the show as well. And so we wanna make sure we run through this. Now, if you guys hit, I don't, it's, it's exclamation, is it PC deals? I think it's deals. Uh, we have a PC that is currently on sale right now. It's at $1,000. It's funny, it's even changed from when I posted it originally on Twitter. Um, it's at just $1,000. It's got a 3600X, a 1660 Super. It's got one terabyte of M.2 space, and it's got an X570 board, which means we know it's gonna be compatible with Zen 3. Uh, sorry, Zen uh, Ryzen 4, the 4 series Ryzen Zen 4, uh, when it's released, which uh, AMD just announced. So if you wanna check that out, you wanna check that out, we got a lot. We got a lot basically going on there. We'll show that off, I'll talk a little, actually, I'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, I think it's PC deals, I forgot the command. I'm gonna look that up real quick, cause I had a, hey, there's a sub already. Thank you very much, Ren Gips 239 for that sub. Kicking it off already off right. Um, is it deals? Yeah, so it's deals, there it is. If you do exclamation point deals, uh, you'll actually get that up here. Um, if you go ahead and do that exclamation point deals, uh, you guys can take a look at that one. If people wanna follow along real quick, I got it up right here. Um, we, yeah, for motherboard, um, if, you, if you hit exclamation point deals, if you are in, you know what, I didn't, ah, YouTube, I forgot to put it in my screen, in my thing. So let me put it in the uh, YouTube comments real quick. Give me one second, I forgot to throw it in there. It'll be there tomorrow. Um, I'll be keeping it updated, but I wanna, I wanna make sure that you guys, like every day you're like, hey, if I, like, I'm, I'm inspired to buy it, I'm inspired to buy a, inspired to buy a PC, here is, here is one that you can basically get ac access to at anyone's, uh, you know, a thousand dollar price point. And then we can even chat a bit about um, what we may want to upgrade or stuff like that. So um, I'm gonna put this in here right now uh, on YouTube. If, you, if you're on Twitch and Mixer, wow, we're already, look at all those freaking subs already happening. Jeez, you guys are just kicking it off right. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna put it into the description. If you look in the description right below, right below the main thing, there it is. Looking to build a PC, tune in tonight. There it goes. Um, it's, it's actually gonna be in the description of, whoa, there we go. Here's another great items on sale at Newegg. And then there's the link right there. So if you look in the link in the description, if you're over on YouTube, you can actually see it. It's called the uh, $1,000 1080p 100fps plus. Um, we'll talk a little bit about what's in there. Uh, the build for product, that, I don't know, if we don't get through it today, then we'll work on, well, I mean, we're guys, we have three days of streams now. So we have the stream today, the stream tomorrow. I, I should be able to finish it today. We have till nine o'clock, so we got time. So it should probably, it'll probably three or four hours. Um, Let's talk a bit about that deals PC. So we'll talk about that a little bit, get everybody up to speed on that. It's now over there on YouTube as well. Um, so you guys can check that out. And then let me bring up my screen so and get in there and get going. Okay, so at the very top for the motherboard, I am impressed that this is even available. We've got the ASRock X570 Steel Legend. Um, the X570 Steel Legend, uh, that is currently uh, the motherboard right now. Uh, yeah, I, I, I actually, so here's the deal. I first posted this, um, let's see, around, what, what time did I post it? If you remember, it's like, it was like four or five hours ago and stuff already started to sell out. So I've been updating it throughout the day. I actually put another X570 that was like $10 cheaper up there. And then that sold out pretty quick. So now I put this one up there. That's the X570 Steel Legend um, AMD, AM4. So that one's there. Uh, it's using the NZXT H510, which I mean, if you've done my $2,000 build or my 500 or my $1,000 build, you know that's been a popular one of that. That is on sale right now on Newegg for $79.99. We've got the MSI GeForce GTX 1660 Super. And remember, tomorrow we'll throw this on the bench. You'll actually see how this performs. You'll know that this is actually a good PC. Um, we've got 32 gigs, uh, sorry, 16 gigs of 3200 megahertz RGB, let me mind you, ARGB Deal um, uh, CL16 RAM. So they have that on sale for 72 bucks, which I usually put that G-Scale Ripsaw, um, but it doesn't have an RGB. So I figured, hey, for the same price, um, you end up with uh, basically uh, RGB, RGB Awesome, which I think is always fun. It also has an Intel 660p Series M.2 2280. We've been getting these for 118 bucks. Again, they dropped the price to 118 bucks. This is a one terabyte NVMe drive. 
um, which if you love NVMe and you love fast storage, this is another good one going in there. Um, so there you go, that's a thousand bucks. The only thing is, is that the power supply, and this is just happening across the board everywhere right now, is power supplies are just incredibly hard to get. And this power supply that I put there is on back order. It actually ships in three days. So I was fine with putting it up there. This is the 750 watt. It has two CPU EPS connectors, which you'll need for the X570 board. It's on sale for 109 bucks. So back order that. You wanna get your back order in. If you're looking for a power supply, this is a great power supply. You know it's gonna be back in stock, worth back ordering it um, because you know you're gonna to wanna to get that. So if you're short of PSU, that in and of itself is worth it. And then finally, the Ryzen 5 3600X. Now this machine with a 1660 Super, this will easily run 1080p and 1440p. And we'll show that a little bit more tomorrow. But I just wanna make sure you go in there. Again, guys, I try to find these deals for you. If you are on the market for a PC, these things, I like, I posted this at noon and by, and by like two, a lot of the components had already sold out. So I'm, I'm trying to keep you guys apprised of what, of what you uh, actually, what you can get. If you're looking for a PC, this is definitely a PC. You may wanna pick it up tonight. I'll have a new one for you tomorrow. We'll test bench it tomorrow so you guys can know, hey, does it actually do what Roby says? We'll show that it actually does. So that is up. Remember, exclamation point deals. I'll remind you guys again, we'll go through this a little bit later on, but I wanna make sure that you know, I'm trying to do you a service and have a PC that's around the $1,000 price point. And I can talk about 1,200 bucks, we'd go to a 2060. For 1,500 bucks, we'd upgrade to a 3700X, still keep the 2060, maybe go to a 2070. So I can talk about all that stuff a little bit later on. But that's not the point of Roby Tech. Roby Tech, will be like this show isn't really about deals, but I wanna just make sure I always have like a deal since we have like basically three days of builds. And I wanna make sure you guys always have like, hey, well, Roby, what build should I get? Well, here you go, here's one right here. So yeah, they do sell out fast. If you wanna get one, here's a thousand dollar PC that is great. Future proof, you know, not future proof, but is future upgradable because you know it'll support Gen 4 uh, AMD. Um, it's on the X570 platform. It's got, you know, again, it's it supports PCIe Gen 4, all that sort of stuff. So that is what is happening there. That is available. Just hit exclamation point deals. We'll talk about it a little bit later. We'll go in there. Uh, love my 2070 Super. That's awesome. Okay, let's go back to chat. Now I've kind of talked through the parts in there. Tech these days, you know, it's interesting. Um, Sody said it's like tech these days has, has, has been has been expensive. I'll be honest, this has been the time to get ridiculous deals on stuff. Because I'll be I'll be frank, um, that like some of this stuff has been super cheap. Like I have been able to get like some really good hardware for super inexpensive. You just the thing is, you just kind of kind of look at it day by day. And you know, with with um, with uh, 10th gen Intel, like right on the horizon, and all of the other stuff that's just literally about to happen, this is like a good time to buy. So I kind of feel I feel pretty good. The deals, I'd say that what has been expensive is when like PSUs have gone up in price. But I'll be honest, like you looking at you know both Amazon and Newegg, you see like most of this stuff is starting to come back in stock in the next couple weeks. I think you'll see like a big flood, especially as, as, as uh, Z490 and all those things kind of come out. It should be a whole lot. Like you'll see things kind of normalized in price, but you can still get really good deals on PCs right now. You just got to kind of pay attention to the sales and I'm, I'm here to help you. I'm here to make that better as somebody who lives, eats and breathes this stuff. I feel, hey, you know, I'm going to help you with that stuff. So there you go. There you go. 1660 Super. There you go. Congratulations, Crosstown and all those guys. Um, okay, well. Let's talk about what's going in this PC, because I think that's the other thing you guys are here for, is you guys are also here because you want to see, you want to see me build an awesome PC. And it's been a while since I've just kind of built a PC for myself. And uh, I feel, I feel a little bit, I feel a little bit flexy because the PC that I'm building, this is literally going to be a streaming and editing rig. It is no slouch uh, in terms of the overall. I mean, when anytime when you're starting with Anytime when you're starting with this, Mike rocks. I just put some great cheap parts. Like the third, like the all of the Ryzen CPUs are really inexpensive right now. No, no, this build is the six thousand dollar build, Keefness. We're 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 getting to that. Um, is fifteen uh, M's S SSD good first? Yes, that's perfectly fine. It just depends. You're just gonna have some management, but um, Bob, uh, I see Bob Jeet. You could, you, the one that I just put, the $118 one that's, that I just put in that exclamation point deals is a much better deal. 118 bucks for one terabyte is pretty ridiculous. Okay, there you go, tur turbos. Yeah, what about thing? 
You can, get, so you didn't do in the board that I just put in there, you can go in there and, and get right now. So um, here we go right here, guys. This is the beast that's going in the start. This is the Ryzen. Uh, this is the Threadripper 3970X. It's a 32, 32 core, 64 threads of absolutely crazy, crazy power. Um, this CPU right now retail just at like right around $1,900. So this is a, this is a bit. Oh, congratulations, Toad Elk. In three days, that's right, it's your birthday. So that's right, you, you stream on Saturday. Um, yeah, so no stream on Saturday, but we'll have to sing your birthday on Friday. Um, so we have, this is the Ryzen, uh, the AMD Ryzen Threadripper. Um, absolutely beast, beast of a CPU. Uh, this is gonna be interesting to go in there because you use a torque wrench to do installing this. So this is what's gonna be at the core of my streaming slash gaming, uh, streaming slash editing rig. That's gonna be over here. Eventually it'll be in a sit stand desk, um, but we're putting it in a uh, NZXT TS. And a big shout out to NZXT and to uh, Newegg for providing some of the parts here. NZXT provided the case and the, uh, and the uh, CPU, and then Newegg provided the motherboard um, as well. So yeah, we got some good stuff. So yeah, and there's no such thing as a pre uh, there's no such thing as a budget Threadripper. You can maybe get a 1950X, but at this point in time, like I would not recommend anything older than second gen Ryzen. I think first gen Ryzen Threadripper was, had a lot of kinks that it needed to get worked out. I think second gen's a whole lot better. And third gen is, I mean, this thing is just a beast. And I, it's funny because, um, They'd ask, like, do you put the 3990X? But there's actually some limitations with the 3990X that you don't have with the 3970X um, because the 3990X is like a drunk down version of their Epic processor. And there was just some weird things that they kind of took out of it. So 3970X is kind of like that sweet spot. So um, let's see what we got here. So this is, our, that's our CPU. For our motherboard, God, excited about this, guys. The ROG2 Zenith 2 Extreme mother gaming motherboard. Um, this is the socket. This is, again, remember, they used to have TR4. These used to be X399. This is when they've gone to TRX40. Um, let, me just, let me just show you. Let me just show you. Are you guys ready for a little, a little, a little, a little PC tech kind of action? And this is your PC tech action right now. This is the uh, Xena 2 Extreme. Look at this board. I mean, that is an absolutely monster, monster board. I'm gonna grab my little thing here because I, I was I was pulling around with it. We've got full, like a full display over here in the back with uh, with LED with um, OLED. We can get like real time status. Um, this is just this was just a this is just a ridiculous ridiculous board. Um, so yeah, um, so yeah, it's like it's pretty much yeah. Why not the Tomahawk Max? Uh, they don't have a Tomahawk version of uh, of these. And you can see here, how, look how much. Look how much RAM we can put in this. Well, of course, if we're gonna put RAM in, we're gonna make sure that we put in 128 gigs of RAM. So we're gonna make sure we're gonna fill every single one of those dim slots uh, by putting it in there. This is 3,200 megahertz of eight by 16, all 128 gigs. We're gonna fill every single one of these slots and make sure that it's absolutely maxed in terms of its overall capacity. So we're gonna throw and fill in every single dim right there as well. Um, for NVMe storage, I was gonna put a two terabyte. I actually changed last minute, so I'm gonna put a 500 gig and a one terabyte. That should be more than enough for the space that I'm gonna be using here. I might throw in a couple two terabytes. I've got this DIMM2 extension for M.2s that I could use later if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, we're gonna throw a couple 970 Evos in there um, to kind of fill this up. And that, that should be fun. It should be, it should be nice and full and uh, lots of room. And uh, look, at the, uh, look at the amount of power we're talking about here. So we've got the, this one and then you've got I don't know if these are, I wonder if I have to plug in all three of these. These might be, I might need three EPS power connectors. I'm not sure. And I don't even know what to do if I do. I may have to grab another power supply. I think I've got an HX100i. I got to figure out what power supply I'm going to put in this. I just realized oh, I've got a 1200 watt. Never mind. I'm using a 1200 watt. I'll go get it. No, I'm not. I'm putting in an 8, CMX 850. So I might have to throw in a different power supply because this requires a lot more power. Forgot about that. Um, okay, uh, so that is, that is RAM. We are gonna, so cooler, um, I'm using the Intermax. Yeah, yeah, 32 core, 64 threads for a cooler. We're using the Intermax 360 Liquitec TR42. Um, this, this covers the entire, um, the entire uh, IHS for the uh, Threadripper. Um, these have been kind of hard to get in stock um, for a while. Um, I've, ha I've had this one for a while. So this is good. It's just a, a great for an all-in-one instead of using like taking and putting the TR4 bracket 
um, uh, unlike an AIO that only kind of covers the set. The thing that's crazy about uh, Gen 3 and Gen 2 is that like they will actually use things that were on the outside before. You'd only have to worry about the chips that were in the middle that heat up. This way you cover the entire HS. So that's what we're gonna use this PR4 Lick Tech 360 AIO. That's what we're gonna be on it. All the big boxes. Yeah, all the big boxes because it's all a massive thing. Now we're gonna see about this. I might have to switch this up. Um, I've been excited about this. Uh, NZXT sent me this. Um, there, I've never used their power, su power supply before. Um, uh, uh, this is their uh, NZXT C850. I put a link down in the description below for these. I think it's actually already sold out right now. PSUs have been incredibly hard to get a hold on. Um, so yeah, this is the NZXT C850 ATX PSU. It's 80 plus gold. Hopefully, hopefully it has all the power stuff I need. Um, it's got two four x four pin. Um, I think I may need more. Um, I didn't think about that. So we'll have, to, we'll have to figure that out as we get a little bit further in. So I might have to switch the ROG, um, the ROG 1200 watt from ASUS, um, which I have a spare one um, as well, but hopefully this is what we'll be using. I don't, I'm not sure if I need all three of those. I'll have to look that up in the motherboard box. We'll get to it here in a little bit later, but this is the PSU I'm hoping to use. And thank you very much NZXT for sending me that. Uh, well, we're going to be, of course, we're going to be making sure we have lots of fans. We're going to be using the ML120, and then we have an ML140 Pro here in the back. These are going to be our fans. We're going to replace the three on the Intermax, and then we've got another one. Another one, this is going to be our exhaust fan uh, that'll be sitting in the back. So these are our fans. Of course, you know, I'm a fan of Corsair, so we're going to be using Corsair fans. That'll be fun. Fun right there. And then, of course, you want to know about the GPU. I couldn't think of anything better, so I'm going with the Asus. RG Strix 2080 Ti. Um, this is one of two that will be in the uh, final system when I'm done. We're actually gonna be doing two of these. Um, and then I might actually be doing four of these. I might be doing two. I might actually install two systems in there, which will actually double the overall price of a gaming and a, uh, we'll have a gaming and a streaming slash editing system inside of that desk. And I might put four of these in there um, just in case. So yeah, that's what we go in there. Um, so yeah, that is, I think that is, I think, do I have it all? I think the only thing I got left, and we'll talk about that a little bit later, is we're gonna be putting all of this in the NZXT H710i. Uh, it's kind of their larger mid-tower ATX case, um, which should be so, which should be so good. So yeah, there is, um, it should be, it should be really, really good. And so I'm pretty excited about the whole thing. Um, I, I don't, do they not, is it Seasonic? I'm not sure, I'm not sure if it is or not, but yeah, I think, uh, I think it's, I, it might it might actually be you might be right it might be seasonic i know corsair and some of the other ones but it, you might be right it might be seasonic so yeah so that's a pc guys that's that's what we're going to be building uh they make their own yes they do make their own other boards i've liked it i've had a couple issues but their new version for the z390 has been pretty good i'm sad that they didn't make a x570 um yeah so it's, it's going to be a lot of fun it is cool and i have one we have a 1200 watt we might end up having to use that but for now I think, guys, I think we're ready to build. What do you guys think? You guys ready to get some building in? I mean, there's, what, how many of you? There's, what, a couple, looks like we have 300, 400 people. There's always one person over at, uh, uh, oh, uh, Anthony Flores, the playlist is from, um, the playlist is actually from Soundstripe, and so you can go and check it out. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, royalty-free music, so that's where it goes, um, but let's build. Hell yeah. Okay, let's get some building done. Um, we're at five subs. We're five subs away from the next giveaway. If you're over on YouTube and you're not that really nice guy who says that I'm uninteresting, uh, make sure you hit that like button and uh, make sure that you uh, hit that thing. If you're over on Mixer and you're over on Twitch, we're getting really close to... Uh, we Oh, we passed 45,000 followers. We're on our way to 50,000, which would be awesome. Make sure that you hit that as well. And let's get, let's get to building. Um, here we go. ROG Zenith 2 Extreme. Let's start with putting the motherboard together. This is a thick boy. Thick boy. Oh my gosh, so big. Oh. Oh, so big. Look at all that power. I think you, I think this is, I, I'm, I'm wondering, I need to look if I need all of these. Oh my gosh, it's so big. I need all of these or not. Um, okay, that is another thing i don't have any gpu stuff i don't know if i need this i'm just making sure i get everything out that i do need um there's another rog lots of this what is that 
USB with utility. Hey, whoa, nice. That's cute. That's cool. Okay, they give it. They actually give me a USB drive with utilities. That's awesome. I may need that. This is what? I'm just looking at seeing what all this stuff is. Um, not sure. I'm trying to see. This is front panel connectors. If I cared, I don't care about any of that stuff. What I'm looking for is M.2 screws. There they are. I always like to grab all these because these are stuff I might actually need. And what else we got over here? We got this is your this is your M.2 dim thing. I'm wondering, I don't think I'm gonna use that this time, but I have it if I need it. And then this should be, this is what I was looking for. More stuff in your, okay, there you go. That's all your, that's all your, um, all your uh, additional, like your Wi-Fi and all that sort of stuff. So let's get this off the side because we're gonna fill this up with extra parts. They kind of build this and then go from there. I, I refilled up my, my flashlight. I'm pretty excited about it, so. Take this out of the way. We don't need this anymore. Don't need that anymore. We can put this in the middle. Okay, so there it is, guys. Look at the look at the cooling for the VRM. Jeez, I'm crow, dude. That is a that is a little ridiculous. If I if I might if I, I might add, in general, yeah, this mat is actually pretty cool. I love the the overall mat for this thing, and it's got an integrated I/O shield, which is awesome. But right now, let's go ahead and start building. I need to figure out. I think I just need two. It looks like I need two eight pins. I just don't know if this I actually need or not. Uh, it's a three pin, so it doesn't. I don't think it is. I think this is extra power for um, my stuff. Because so I think I only need two eight pins, which is great. I'm good there. Let's go ahead and open our CPU. You guys ready? CPU time. Okay. Go here from the bottom. Oh, there we go. Number seven, crushing it already. Oh, this is being a little bit of a problem here. I want to. I, I want to make sure that I read it well. There we go. Okay, CPU time. Opening a two thousand dollars CPU. Is it Oprah it's trivia? Well, I would, except for we kept. We had a bunch of issues with that last time, which reminds me, I did. I'm just making sure that I. Okay, let me do this, guys. I'm sorry, I have to do this because I'm a little afraid of last time. We actually had, I think we got pulled off. So we're gonna make sure that stuff is not there. Okay, the link is good, there we go. I gotta, I gotta get rid of chat um, because we had, we ended up having issues. Ugh. It's opening, oh, look at that, there it is. Look at that, there we go. A little bit of a beast inside of here, you've got some extra, some extra bits, including something that I actually don't need it because I actually have a Threadripper torque wrench already. There's our Threadripper torque wrench. So we won't take it, but that if you're building an AMD Threadripper on the bottom, make sure you're like, oh, do I need anything down here? You actually have your extra, your TR4 bracket for your standard AIO. And you've got your, uh, you've also got your, your uh, torque wrench. So that is all in there. We'll put that off to the side. And the next step is it looks like you actually have to I haven't opened one of these before, so this is all, all new to me here. I've been wanting to open one of these, but I just haven't. It looks like there's a little thing right there. It's impossible to open. Do you think you just slam it and that's how it opens um, and go from there? Or do you think it's just, uh, you, think it's, uh, you think it's easier than that? It looks like it just, it looks like there's actually like a little bit of stuff right here. So I think if I'm right, and I usually am, not. Yep, there you go. You just open it like that and then pops open. Oh, did I cut it all the way? I don't know if I actually cut it all the way, so let's. That is definitely cut now. There it goes. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's not it's not an egg. You don't snap the eggs. There it goes. There is the open right there. You just gotta cut that open. So you're learning a little bit from me, and then still an additional. It says on here, it says unlock. So you basically unlock this like that. And then out comes our thread ripper. And then on the back, it's even got, and remember this doesn't have pins like the other ones. Now there's our thread ripper. It's all out and good to go. So we're gonna put this little display case back together. Oh, look at that in the back, AMD Ryzen. I think I'll just leave it like this and uh, put the little, oopsie, put the little lock back in like so okay there we go 
There we go. And then we'll put this back on. This little thing in there. There you go. Now it's all now it's all ready for display in my back here in the back here because I haven't ever I haven't ever had a I have lots of second gen thread rippers. I just don't have a lot of new third gen thread rippers. Thank you very much for all those those subs, guys. There we go. Thread ripper out. And we're going like this. Um, we'll put it right there. There you go. Thread ripper is in the back. It's joined. It's joined. It's joined the uh, it's joined the party. Okay, so opening thread ripper over here on the top. We'll go and go to top down so we can show you guys how to do the install here. So something about installing thread rippers, which is very different when you install on LGA 1151 or AM4, is everything uses a torque wrench. Now there's numbers here one, two, three. They're actually labeled. It says for close you go one, two, three. For open you do three, two, one. So we start at three. Kind of untwist. Same thing with two. This is my first third gen. I built tons of second gen thread rippers. So I've built quite a few thread ripper builds. This is just my first uh, second, uh, third gen. But yeah, not my first thread ripper. Okay, so there we go. You just basically unscrew all of those. Once that's done, make sure they're all loose. There we go. Make sure they're all out. That can sometimes be a thing. And there is one. It just pops right up like that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pop this open and then this is just gonna slide out. This is like, don't lose, don't forget to keep this thing. This is your protective covering. If you ever need to worry about your your, your socket, the other thing too you wanna get rid of is this little thing right here. And there you go. Our socket is open and ready. So when you install a thread ripper, there's little guides on the side. You just slide this in between right here on the edge. You can actually see those little guides. We're actually gonna be doing a full step-by-step -step guide on one of these here soon. You slide that in on the guide like that, and then you just push it down like that. And then you put this down, and then when you close it, you want to start at one, screw it down. And then I have a tendency to start two and three just to get them in because they can be weird. And then once you've got them kind of started, then you finish this, and then you, you twist it until it clicks. And then you'll feel a click from the torque wrench. There you go. There's one. There's two, and then finally, there is three right there. And there you go, that is all installed. There you go. And now you've got a fully installed Threadripper uh, CPU. So there, that's all good. You got a little bit more fingerprints over here. I'm gonna erase those real quick, just trying to keep the fingerprints off. Okay, so now next up, let's go ahead and fill in our RAM. Uh, this only has, there's two clips here. Usually, sometimes you have to do both for this one. I'm gonna do the top. Wow. Don't get a lot of room with that VRM, I'll tell you. It'll be interesting because I think I'm gonna have to front mount the AIO on this because I don't think this VRM uh, is going to give, uh, which is, is going to be able to uh, allow me to uh, <clears throat> put a top mounted radiator. Okay, here we go. Here's our RAM 128 gigs, guys. 128 gigs of RAM here we're about to install. This should be fun. Got to fill all the slots, though. <clears throat> there we go. Back up. I just like to check to see where we are in numbers and stuff like that. Okay, here we go. Pulling up our RAM here. We got a lot of RAM. Look at that. <laughs> Boom. It's a lot. Like it's even got like little separators. There's so much of it. Got to fill all those dims, though. You know what I'm saying? That's important. You want to make sure you have all those dims filled. Now there are just like there now just like there are on uh, on uh, on uh, any other motherboard. There are certain slots. Uh, this actually supports quad channel RAM if you cared. Um, so you want to put eight. It'd be A2, B2, and then it's I think it's D2, D2. I know it's weird. Um, and then, uh, but you always want to check your manual just to make sure that you're putting them in the right place. Now, when installing RAM, again, there's a little slot on your PCB. Um, PCB stands for printed circuit board. You want to basically make sure that that lines up nicely with the one here, just like that. And you just push it in, make sure it clips all the way. Clips all the way. Same one, we're gonna do that with this one. Here we go. Two in. Ah, ah, ah. Two, two of them. Okay. 
We do, yeah, sometimes they do, sometimes Newegg does get unruly. They do. Guys, we're uh, two away from giving away our first uh, our first giveaway. So we can get a, hopefully get a couple more subs and we can finish out that start start the giveaway, start the giveaway train. So the CPU, uh, the CPU is a threader for 3970X and the GPU is, um, um, uh, and the GPU is a 2080 Ti. Oops, did I put this in right? I know. No, I did, okay. I got, I got, I sometimes I get overzealous here. There we go. There's four. Only four more to go. Yeah, the count, yeah. So much RAM to put in. Gotta make sure it looks good though, right? Nope, see, and that's when I didn't follow the PCB. Now I did. There we go, one more. I don't know, the music is a lot louder on Twitch. Is it really? Hey, awesome. We just passed a thousand messages, guys. Thank you very much for all the chats today. Is the music a whole lot louder on Twitch than it is every other channel? I can turn it down. Oh, okay, I can turn it down a little bit. Let me check my volume stuff. That's weird, because I don't know what, I don't know if I'm doing anything to make it. There we go. Is that better? Turn it down a bit. Okay, well I turned it down. I turned it down just a little bit, so it should have turned down on all platforms. There we go, and then here we go. Last bit of RAM here. Look at all that. Look at all that RAM. So much RAM. So much RAM. Yeah, making it rain. Making it rain RAM. I like that one. We filled it all up, guys. We filled it all up. All the rams. All the rams are filled up. It's always fun to fill all the rams. Mad ramming. That sounds bad. I need to, uh, it's funny because uh, with, I need to get a hold of a Valorant code uh, just because I know that's something that people care about in terms of the overall, we talked about, um, um, Benchmarks. So when I benchmark a PC or a game, people want to see how it runs Valorant. You feel like a boss. Yeah, you dirty, dirty. That's right. So I know that's one of the things that people have talked about. I was like, hey, I'd love to you when you do when you do your next build. I mean, when you do your next. Um, what did I do with my screwdriver? I thought I opened. I uh, leave it in the other room. One sec, guys. I'm gonna go find my screwdriver. Can't do it with that handy dandy screwdriver today. A screwdriver? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Hey, found it. All right. Let's go ahead and get to our M.2. I don't know. Do you think I, I'm wondering? There we go. Number nine. There we go. Number nine. I'm wondering. Let's let's do this, guys. Let's, let's just for the sake of things, just keep it clean. Grab that dim card. Let's 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 install our M.2s and just let's let's fill up all the slots. Why not? Why not? Let's not let's let's not dilly dally. Let's not dilly dally. Let's install let's install our M.2s on the dim card. That sounds like more fun. Something new. There we go. Dilly dally, and let's put it all on the dim. We're gonna dim it up. Save the other M.2 should I ever need to. There we go, there's one right there. Go to the other side and get the other one open. We still get the same speed, we'll still get that nice PCIe Gen 4, which we want. If I had that, and I'm only using Gen 3 M.2s, because those have been hard to get as PCI Gen 4 M.2s have been, there we go. Oopsie, come on. Open for me. 
There we go. Okay, there we go. All of our, let's go ahead and put them in here. So we have all of our extra little, oh, that's not what I need. I need these, okay. Interesting, do I need to? I wonder if those are for, I'm curious. They, ha they gave me all these standoffs, but I don't know if I need the side ones. The side. Oh, okay, never mind. No, yeah, you definitely do need those. Okay, good to know. Those are so the other side has standoffs. Come on, let go. Let go. Okay. Okay, there's one. It is where I'm at right now in the U.S. It is currently... Actually, you guys can see it a little... Well, maybe not. It's 712 right now. Okay, 2280. Here's where we're going. We're going to throw a 2280. This is where we're going to install... Our first one, we're gonna grab our 500 gig M.2 drive right here. Gonna fill up all the slots. The processor that it's already in there, it's that giant thing right there. There's the processor right there. Okay, here we go right here. We're gonna throw that in like this. And then we're going to take our little screw, our little tiny, tiny screw, and we're going to screw it down. And that one is installed. Okay. So we can take this. There we go. Take our little, our cover, our little thermal pad cover off here. There we go, like that. Let go, let go, let go. Oh, static. And then we're going to put this and line it up like that. And we're gonna rescrew these in. So what I just did is I installed these are this is an M.2 DIM card. You can also put them in there, but I'm installing the M.2 drives. And so I these are hard drives. Um, they used to be seen mostly in uh, mostly in laptops, but this has an expansion card that allows me to install the M.2 onto a directly onto a. Oh, can I get that in? Yeah, I did. I'm just going to make sure this is like in the right place. There we go. And that's what I was doing. So I'm installing an M.2 hard drive into a dim into a dim expansion slot. We're just going to make sure that's all it's it's so I don't have to take apart because there's actually two more. There's actually more installation ports actually you can put more under here i could take this off and there'd be two more under here but i figured i'm just gonna i got this cool extension plate i'm gonna go ahead and use this cool extension plate okay so on the other side we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna grab another m.2 um no oh, that's not the right one one now oh, those are all smaller i need a taller one and they do not those look like all taller ones I have to get another one out of here. There go. There we go, right there. And then what we're going to do is install this one on twenty two eighty like this. go and then i'm going to take our other m.2 what's up donnie thank you for hanging out dude appreciate it and then here we have our one terabyte m.2 drive right here and that's what we're doing right now uh can you do an absolute beginner's guide what was it that wasn't clear below zero 
Oh, nice, N NGP. Thank you very much. I'm glad I inspired you, dude. Um, we're going to be doing another guide um, here pretty soon, especially for tent gen and everything else. So if there's stuff that you said you wish you didn't know, that I, I try to help. So um, I'd love to I'd love to know what else you needed, like what wasn't clear. Okay, so we're just screwing in this other M.2 drive. Again, when you install an M.2 drive, I'm going to make sure this is not, that looks too high. Um, I wonder if these are even the right ones. These may not be the right standoffs. Hold on, guys. This feels like it's too high. I might be needing to use these other ones. Hold on. I feel like these are too high. And this one looks a little wacky here. We're going to check that out here in a second. It might, I actually might be needing these. They actually might be giving me different ones. Oops, see. There we go. I'll tell you about what I'm doing right here. So they have different size standoffs. And the thing is, is that depending on how high it might be bending the card, the PCB. So I'm just seeing if these other standoffs don't have that same problem. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that seems better. So I think the other one might be, the, these other ones might be too high. The things I have the MOBO already. There we go, that seems better. And now it's not the way it should look, okay. Get this on. Oh, I gotta. I think the only one I care about is this one. Need the other one off. Uh, get off. Trying to make sure I can see the holes here. There we go. Okay. I'm going to check the other side. I feel like it's a little too high, so I'm going to make sure we have the right one over there. There we go. And there we go. Now remember, these are these do not come like usually the like on higher end like uh, 9980XE or like X299 is where you'll see these things like these dem extension cards. Um, these are not something you'd see normally with a build with these kind of builds. Ooh, there we go. So you seeing this here is unique. Um, these are like when you do like a like a or like a Ryzen build or something like that, this may not be what you would normally see. Take that off. Yeah, this is too high. I think that's bending our thing, so we're gonna switch this out. There we go. Yep, that one's too high. Take this off. Okay. These, oops going to put in here okay. and I need one of these which is the smaller ones and these standoffs are what actually allow me to install the m.2 drive they have different heights so that's what I'm that's what I'm fixing right now is putting in the right ones for the right height is what I was doing and so the ones I had were too tall and it was bending the PCB we're gonna fix that There we go. And then 2280. Oopsie. Can I still get AMD and a GTX? Yeah, that is a great, that's for, that's my $500 build. How do I send stickers? Oh yeah, there should be, it should be pretty straightforward. You're a bad boy, huh? Okay, there we go. Have I missed, I haven't missed any super chats, have I? I think I've, I've definitely seen some, like we've definitely seen embers going up in mixer already but I'm just a kid who nice John we'll see you later man thanks for hanging out today dude and I'm glad that you enjoyed the little bit of the stream make sure you hit the like guys the like on the way out because there's uh let's see what do we have 100 what is it, 350 
400, 500, 600 people here right now. Thank you very much, everybody, for hanging out. Oh, gosh darn it. Ooh. Let's get this screw into the hole. So some, some moments here as we get this going. Did anybody take a look? Uh, uh, we're doing an NZXT PSU, which somebody, did somebody find out if it's Seasonic or who makes them? I don't know. There we go. Yeah, that's much better. Uh, I can see all the chats. So I basically have what's called Restream. Restream is showing me all the chats so I can see all the chats. What C people are asking about the CPU, um, we, you guys, the, the stuff shows up pretty regularly in chat, but the CPU that we have is the Threadripper 3 3970X. Um, and then if you're over on YouTube, you can just look down. All the parts are listed down below in the description. It's not, oh, which would you prefer? I would say a Cooler Master, unique. EVGA cables are nice, I agree. There we go. Normally we were showing it, but I'm a little worried that we ended up having a bunch of hate. And so we're, we're gonna work with our mods to find a way so that doesn't happen so we don't get pulled off of YouTube because we think that's what happened last week, which was a bummer because we don't want that. Okay, there we go, guys. Now we're gonna install our SIM card for our M.2. Again, this is pretty easy because there's a giant gap right there that's in the PCB. You just stick it like that and then push it in. And there, now our, now our M.2s are installed. And there we go. Our motherboard, our motherboard is ready to go into the system. Who's excited? Whoa, Nick, thank you very much for that, man. Dude, you are welcome, Nick. I'm aw awesome that you did it. Uh, the Cooler Master PS PSU we're using is the C850. Okay, we got. We don't need those. We got to get rid of that. We don't need that, and we're good to go. We're good to go. Okay, let's start prepping our case, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have to see how this goes in there. What do you guys think of the board? It's quite. It's quite beefy. Hashtag beefy cores for sure. Okay, let's get that off to the side like that. There we go. And let's grab some water and do that. Thank you very much for the Ember Love, man. Appreciate it. That's a thousand one, dude. Thank you very much, man. That's huge. Arclight, you awesome. Thank you very much for that, man. Okay, here we go. Just gonna put this down a little bit so we can get the case in. Show off the case a little bit, because uh, NZXT. We're doing a little bit of a case review. Never built in this case before. Pretty excited about it. I really like the H510, so to get to show this one is pretty cool. This is the NZXT H710. They sent this over for me to take a look at um, and to use for this particular build. So this is the H710. It's bigger than the H510, that is for sure. Uh, should have more room uh, and more mounting capacity. Unlike the H510, the entire front panel is actually tempered glass. We've got more mounts for SSDs, which I'm going to remove because I don't need those. Again, we've got more room in the front, which we're, we could potentially use, which we may use for our... our uh, that's where we're actually probably going to end up putting our Intermax um, uh, cooler. And then again, you don't have the single top fan, but again, there's more room at the top in terms of airflow to be pulled in. So. Um, for install, for removing the tempered glass, and this is purple, which is kind of neat. Uh, removing the tempered glass, ooh, that's a little harder than I thought. We just have a single screw. Now, always be a little bit careful with this one when you remove it. But sometimes these just kind of pop down. I think this one has nipples. It has the little nipple things that protect it. Once we get this completely unscrewed here. I don't know if these are captive or not. We'll find out. I always like, nope, they're not captive. Then again, you've got a little purple guard here. You just basically push this out yeah, and there's nip little nipples but still just be careful as you push that out <sighs> to make sure it doesn't go wacko on you okay so in terms of prepping the front we have some front mounted ssds we could use which are always nice i'm going to go ahead and take these off they're really easy just kind of click in and then anywhere where there's a hole it's really nice in terms of being able to move this and then you can screw them back down i'm not going to be using those we also have some here as well. This is also, if you wanted to have like an NZXT, if you want to do a front mount, you've got a lot of mounting options for SSDs. 
Um, and then again, we're gonna remove these fans. So it looks like the front just kind of pops off. We'll do that. And then we've actually got, it actually has lighting installed at the top. We might actually put in some more. I actually have a little bit more lighting that I could put in here because I have some stuff. Now for the back of the case, very nice. Just a button that just unclicks and opens it up, which always is nice. So you don't have to worry about screws. And the other thing I really like about this case is this. Look at the channels that you have for doing cable management, which is always super nice. So um, yeah, it's you have a lot of room here for basically doing stickers. You do have radiator support at the top, so it looks like the top does come off. Um, I'll figure out how to do that. It looks like the, do the top comes off um, for installing, or you could actually do a radiator at the, mount at the top, and then you can do, you can also take off the front. And it looks like it just pulls off, if I'm not mistaken. That's usually how this works. Um, Yep, that's usually how it works. I think it's just a pull off. Always makes me nervous like that. So uh, when you do this wrong, got some little bit of wood in here, but we'll see. There you go. Just pulls off like so. Here's our top, our front, and we've got over in the front, got a nice little dust filter, kind of just slips down. We'll pop that off. Nice magnetic. There we go. I think we're gonna do front found, front top, front mounted. And then the same thing looks like the top just pops right off. Let me make sure that's actually how it works. There it goes, yep. There it goes. Top just pops right off like that. And then you've also got, you actually have quite a bit of room at the top right here for radiator mounts as well. Um, so. You could do the radiator below. It actually makes it so you could actually put the radiator and then have the fans. But we're gonna test how much room we have once we put in the CPU. I mean, once we put in this this uh, beefy boy, uh, this beefy boy, um, freaking, um, this beefy boy freaking uh, uh, motherboard. And I'm gonna go and remove this 140 from the back. And it's nice, it actually comes with four fans. So for price point, that's actually a pretty good deal. Uh, this build is for a streaming slash editing rig, is what this one is. It, I mean, you can game on it too. 3970 is more than capable of doing some gaming, but uh, gaming on a 30, it's not primary points, not gaming. Hey, thanks, Ashton. I appreciate it. It's for me. Yeah, this one's actually for me this time. So yeah, not 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 your not our usual not our usual uh, build it for somebody else. Though we have some of those coming up. And do not forget, guys. If you are looking for a build, if you get exclamation point deals, or if you're over on YouTube, checking down in the links below, there is actually a PC that is on sale right now. It's at $1,000. It's a 1080p, uh, 1440p beast in terms of 1440p at 60 FPS, 1080p at greater than 100 FPS. Um, that's on sale right now over at Newegg. If you're looking to get a PC, like here I am building one for me, but I also make sure I got you covered uh, in terms of, ooh, that's nice. There's also like nice little places that, Little small things like this, like a, like basically a, a little uh, holder for the, um, the fan. I wonder if this actually, it looks like this actually has fan hubs. Oh, nice. So there's actually a pretty massive fan hub here. Um, so that's going to make it a little easier. I don't have to worry as much about um, fan spots, which is good. We're going to disconnect this. Ooh, is it only a three? No, it's a four. Okay, good. Okay, so we got good size fan hub here. I just gotta get this out. Kind of a pain here. Appreciate the the uh, cable control, but what the heck? Huh. There we go. Wow. This is not gonna let me remove this fan. It's like impossible to remove fan here. Actually, like peeling stuff off. How do I get this out? Okay, I might have to give it a little bit of a pull here. I'm just getting this fan undone in the back. A little bit tight. Got to. And my thing is just that much to hmm, grab this one right here and a little flathead.
There, that was a little bit too, too tight. Okay, there we go. Got that fan out. I was like, wow, that is, that is tough. That's a big 140 fan. Okay. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and remove these three in the front. Down a little bit. We're going to move these three because we do not need them. I'm pretty impressed with uh, the case so far for a couple reasons. One, um, one thing I really enjoy about this case is the, um, is how they thought about like, hey, there's no fan hub, but they did think about giving you fan splitters. So if you wanted to put like, if you want to put all those fans, you don't have to worry as much about a bunch of fan headers. Pretty nice. I'll show you those here in a minute. Um, and then plenty of the, the airflow, like you've got a lot of places to pull airflow from the sides, which is actually kind of nice. And then you can remove these top, these things at the top, like this, the, the mounts at the top are actually removable. So you can mount your, I can mount my AIO and then put it back on without having to worry as much about trying to make sure I had room, which is kind of cool. So a couple things that I've already been kind of impressed with, with the case in general. Um, here we go. Pull that out here in a second. I'm gonna unscrew all these because we won't need them. We're gonna be putting the Corsair fans in. And I think there's enough room to actually do, uh, I don't know, we'll have to see. I may have to do like, pull the, have the Corsair fans on the inside. I want the light, but I may not need it as much because um, I actually might just end up using the black fans because I can get all my light from the uh, RGB from the, from the light strips instead of using the fans. So I may just use the Intermax or what these, the Intermax fans or these NZXT fans instead of the um, BML fans because I can't, I, you can't, it's not like you can see anything out of the front anyway. So usually what I use fans for is just to add extra light to the inside of the build. May not need to do that this time. So live and learn a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Live and learn, just taking apart screws, removing fans, everybody's favorite task. There we go. Kind of hanging here, we got like a ton of, oops, ton of screws over here. Uh, there we go. Okay, let's put this little screwdriver away. Where is it, there it is. Okay. We're just gonna remove these. They're all just really nice. We got lots of little, really nice uh, this channel stuff. Is really, really kind of neat. The problem is, is that all of these fans need to disconnect here. Fan hub. Pull them through here. There we go. There's one fan. The good thing is I was a little worried because I was like, oh man, these are all three, these are all three fans, but they're, uh, they're actually, um, they actually have four prong. They gave you four prong extensions, which is great. So for your fan, for your fan extensions, you can actually use like nicer Noctua fans, or if I wanted to use, like if I just want to make sure cooling was that much better, I could do that, which is kind of cool. There's this other fan that's stuck here. Okay, there we go. Actually, if I end up using all black, I might throw those new, those Noctua fans in here versus the ML fans. They're gonna be way quieter and we're gonna get a lot more airflow if I do it that way. There we go, right there. Okay, cool. There's our fans removed, more fans for fans. And man, I'm running out of room for all these extra fans. I just keep shoving them in this basket right here. Like so many, I have like a giant basket of fans. How do you install liquid cooling? Actually, there was a build, there was a build yesterday that showed it, um, that shows you how to do it at Emmer. I actually did a, I, last week's build, I did a full, on Thursday, we did a full liquid cooling end to end. If you want to watch an AIO get installed, we're going to be, we're going to be installing one here pretty soon. Okay. We can go to top down now and let's put our motherboard in. We got the whole case stripped down. We can just basically get this ready. And we'll see what kind of room we have once we put this in. So yeah. Um, yeah, here we go. Oh man, that thing is hefty. Oh, 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 oh. 
this may not fit in this case. This may not fit in this case. This does not fit. This does not fit in this case. This is a, this, this, I think this is a ATX case, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And I cannot put in a mic. I think this is an EATX motherboard. Well, that is, that was genius, Roby. I guess I should have paid attention to that when I did this whole thing. And, uh, <laughs> I put, I realized that this is not gonna be able to go in here. So I might have to put in a different build into this case. It doesn't fit. Yeah. I didn't hold it by the RAM. Yeah, I know. No, everybody's going, but I didn't, I didn't think about that when I did this, that I forgot that this is an ATX case, not an, and that's an EATX board. And uh, I, I may need to go get a different case for this. It did, well, it just, yeah, I didn't even, I didn't even consider it at the time. I have, like, again, remember, the, uh, sorry, just talking to this. Um, when I first built this, when I was going to do this build, this K, this build was supposed to go into, this, this PC was supposed to go into a very specific, into a very specific, um, into a specific case that we have downstairs, and it's the, it's the Lee and Lee case. Uh, I don't actually have, I don't think I actually have a case that is big enough. I don't think an E, I don't think I have any cases right now that are actually big enough. So I may actually have to switch to a completely different build midstream, guys. I may actually have to switch to a different, a different build midstream. Uh, uh, yeah, beat to fit. I could take this out, but then again, like, that's not the whole point. Um, yeah, this is an ATX and I may just, I may just put a different build in here and, and switch the, the build all up. This is it, yeah, this is an app just, yeah, just can't win. Sometimes, hey, sometimes it happens to the best of us. I totally, I totally spaced on what this is. So I'm gonna put this together again and we're gonna switch builds. And you guys are gonna watch me switch builds midstream. Cause I completely spaced on the wrong, I completely spaced and forgot that this is an EATX. This is an EATX motherboard. And uh, I've had it for so long, I just didn't think about it when they sent me this. So I'm going to stick a different PC I'm going to stick a different PC, still a streaming rig, but I'm going to put a different PC in this. If you give me a second, we will prepare and do that. So what I'm going to do though first is I'm going to take this apart because I'm going to need the other parts. So bear with me, we're not done. We're just going to switch. I was excited. I'm still going to use it. It's just going to go into my other, it's going to go into the real PC that it was supposed to get put into. There it is. We're just going to do this backwards now, guys. I'm going to take all this RAM out and we're going to prep it. And I'm going to put it back in storage. And when we build the Lee and Lee desk, we'll use that. I have another, I have another PC. Guys, I'm sorry. I know everybody's excited about the Threadripper build. No. This kind, of, this kind of hurts. I'm sorry it hurts. Hey, it happens. I didn't. Welcome to doing it live and not on not on YouTube. It's like where you sit there and you're like, oh, yeah, this isn't gonna work. But it's okay. We're gonna switch it up and we're gonna be fine. And you guys just stand by to stand by. I don't think you're going to be disappointed in the build that it's just going to become. My Asus ROG build, and I'm going to do this, I'm going to do a review on this case. I'm going to do this case, the rest of this other build later on to do a case review. There we go. There we go. Okay. I'm actually just going to take this dim out. I need the M.2s out of it, but we'll keep everything else the same. Okay, I'm actually going to keep... The CPU in this. <clears throat> Not worried about it. Because we're still we still have to build this build. <laughs> there we go. And take these out real quick. Because these are gonna get put away. Because I'm gonna use this later when I actually do this. I can't leave this stored in there. Uh, X570 Tomahawk, I don't think they have a release date yet, so. 
How, yeah, how to unbuild how to unbuild a motherboard. That's what you're watching right now. <laughs> you're watching how to unbuild how to unbuild a PC with RobyTech. It will be it will uh, actually we're gonna put a 3950X. That's what we're gonna build instead. Because I need it's a stopgap. Remember, guys, it's a stopgap solution. I was going to do something else, but I'm gonna put a 3950X um, instead. So that's what that's what we're going to do. We're gonna put a build a 3950X system. And that will be my that will be my system. It's still gonna use the only thing I'm gonna change is we're gonna go to Corsair Dominator Platinum RAM instead of Vengeance RGB Pro. We're still gonna use uh, we're gonna use an X570 Aorus Elite uh, motherboard. Um, and yeah, should still be more than fine. I'm gonna make sure that I'm just gonna switch up the build real quick. I, because I'm gonna store it in the box and it's not it's too tall so it's, I'm just gonna store it back in its place and we'll we'll use it later when we build the actual real PC all good this is just welcome to my world again this is a stopgap not the not really what this build is supposed this build was not supposed to be in here we're just gonna put this away and go to the new build And then we'll end up, I think we're just gonna keep going with what a build that I already have in progress and we'll finish that one. So, and then I'm gonna use that stop gap. I'm gonna use this build instead um, moving forward. So there we go. Stand by, I'm gonna get this out of the way. We're gonna store this stuff because we're gonna use this stuff later. There we go. Okay. There we go. Put this in here, and we're, we're gonna go get the other build. And you guys may recognize this build because this is a build I started a while ago, and I never finished. And this, I was like, I was actually thinking originally that this might be my stopgap, but it's actually in a very, very similar place that this build was. So, stand by. I oh, I forgot about that. Let's take this. We'll take this apart and build it into the other one. So, stand by. We're gonna go get the other build. I think you guys are gonna be happy. Don't don't freak out. It's still a very expensive build. So just stand by. Here we go. Oh. Oh, and this one's actually in a custom case. Oh. Okay. Welcome to the new build. So we're going to do a new build. <laughs> so here's the new build. This one's actually going to have a water cooled VRM. So it's going to be a little bit. It's going to be a little bit crazy. Um, and we'll we're going to finish this one out. Here we go, right here. Uh, welcome to this is actually themed this is actually themed uh, an actual theme build um, this is themed this is going to be an asus rog build we've actually got it started here as you can see it's actually already started the theming process um, and uh, you see the whole front here what's up and here is the uh, look at this beast right here this is our, our all a republic of gamers rog um, ROG stuff. Yeah, it's still gonna be there. It's still gonna be something. We'll finish it later. Yeah. Oh, giveaway time. Ten subs. Yeah, let me get that done. Thank you for sticking around, guys. Thank you for being part of my uh, part of my realistic. I've been super. I'm bummed, but we'll just have to do this case build a little bit later. So. Um. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Uh, starting the giveaway. Dun dun dun. Giveaway. Um, here we go. Giveaway. This is for three months of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Starting that giveaway now. Okay, so this is the build. It's actually an ROG themed build. Uh, all Asus ROG. We're going to be sticking a, we're actually going to be sticking the ROG uh, CPU inside of this. The plan and what I was working on when I stopped this build is this is using the 
Crosshair Formula 8. The actual VRM can be water cooled, but I'm not water cooling anything else in this. So I'm gonna just, the plan was just to stick a Corsair, a Corsair case, a, a Corsair and, and maybe soft tube. But I learned recently that you don't actually have to water cool this. You can just leave it the way it is and it works completely fine. So we're not gonna water cool this. We're gonna remove this radiator and we're just gonna finish the build is the plan. I'm gonna go grab in here my lids for this beautiful thing and finish this ROG build out. And then we'll use this because this is an extra. Okay. I'm gonna put these back on because you don't need them. And I need one more. These, where are you? There it is right there. Oh. I had two. These are all not them. I put it over here. They're actual all lids. What did I do with the other one? There we go. Okay, so we put the caps back on because we don't need those. We're gonna finish this build. And we, we've got some stuff already done. I'm going to go switch out. I'll be back in one second. I'm gonna go switch out to the other motherboard box. Get this done. There we go. I think this is it. It should actually have our little cover in it, I hope. I'm missing our cover for this. I gotta find that. Okay, let's get everything else inside it though. We're gonna remove this. We're gonna remove this M dot this these this AIO on the front and move to just a normal AIO. And remove this this radiator. Actually in here for some reason I think it is I'm trying to find real quick what we did with there it is okay okay yeah new thumb yeah the thumbnail is wrong but it'll be fine sometimes this happens We'll switch the thumbnail out later because this is a new build altogether. New, new thumbnail. Yeah, I new, new machine, new everything. This is all like we've now switched it. It's all it's uh, the motherboard's actually more expensive than what I had. I mean, all, uh, around the same price, but so we actually haven't like downgraded all that much. Uh, this is rising a uh, Ryzen 9 3950X. It's got 32 gigs of sorry, 64 gigs of 3600 megahertz dominant platinum RAM. It's running a, uh, it's running the, it'll be running all ROG parts. We're gonna be putting the, uh, we're gonna be putting the, um, we're gonna be replacing that stuff here in a second. We're gonna be taking out this radiator because we're actually gonna just use the, uh, we're just gonna use, we're not gonna water cool the VRM, I don't need to. Um, and this motherboard is beautiful. So you guys are still getting awesome. It's just a different awesome. So, yeah, show it off. This is still a very expensive build, still a very nice build. Uh, just not what you guys had thought we were going to do originally. So there you go. And this is what happens. A little bit different every time. And you guys, this one we should finish and, and have on, and then it'll be fully themed and completed. Which is also nice. And this one, this one actually was my, this was actually going to at one point in time be my gaming build. And I just never finished it. And I wanted like an ode to ROG. And that's what this one is gonna be. So we're gonna finish it out and build it out the way it needs to be and finish it and have it done. 
So that's what we're going to do instead today. And you guys still get to watch a real ridiculously expensive build. Uh, hold on. Let's put you over here. Yeah, and it's all ROG for the win. So do not ignore all the parts. Ignore, ignore the build list. Ignore all that stuff because it's not what it is. I will change the title because the title and then I'll update the links and it'll be accurate and we'll put a new we'll put a new uh, title in here. It's just funny, right? Like that's the thing about live streaming versus building building it like this is that sometimes stuff like this happens and you're like, oh yeah, that's not gonna work, Roby. So yeah, we're gonna throw a couple two one forty in the front. Actually, I might. I think this would actually look better if I did three three. Three 140s in the three 120s in the front versus doing the 140s. Because then I think we'll just do three 140s and three 120s in the front too. I wonder if I could do three 140s. Might, that actually might be overkill. That's a lot. Of, oh, I need a 140 in the back though. Okay, so we're going to throw a 140 in the back. Because we'll need a 140 in the back for the for exhaust. Who won the raffle? Good point. Pick winner. Congratulations to Select Start Save. Select Start Save. You are the winner of the raffle. There we go. You are the winner. Number 10. We're 10 away from our next, our next, uh, our next giveaway. That's awesome. Congratulations, Select Start Save. Thank you for the reminding me about the raffle. I just got a little, little, uh, little, uh, distracted having to completely reset builds in the middle of the stream. That is always a, uh, it's always a fun, that is always a fun change. And you're like, oh, hey, yeah, this is all not gonna fit and I need to go redo it all. So yeah. Well, I mean, it's like this build is like, it's relatively close. It's obviously doesn't have a thread ripper. Um, I don't know if I, I wonder if I have all the pictures. I'm gonna have to take a new thumbnail and have it replace the thumbnail. And then we'll use that other one later. Cause I'm gonna do a case review on the uh, on the H710. I owe that NZXT. So I'm being calm. I'm being calm. It's like just going with the flow. We still have a lot of people, like a lot of people watching right now, and so I'm okay with it. It just happens. Oh, I, I should change the title. Yeah, I'll change the title right now. Hold on one second. I can't change. I can. All right, I'll change all the titles now, guys. Okay, so this is. Let's figure this out. I'm going to update the build. Here we go. We're going to do it live, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do it live. We're going to update the build and do it all live. So we'll update the build with everything. So you guys will still be the same build list. It'll just be a new build, and then we got to figure out the price. Okay, so we're going to go to... Boom, boom, boom. Not that. Justin Roby. We want custom build. Here we go. This is, this is the fun stuff. Welcome. Welcome to doing it live. Custom build. Where are you? You guys are gonna watch this whole thing change. And by the way, this uh, this actual this actual PC is on sale. So okay, we're gonna keep the 140. We have three 120s. That's still right. We're still we're not using the Intermax. So we're gonna get rid of that. We're not using the H710. We're gonna get rid of that. We are still using the R the ROG Strix. We are not using the Zenith 2 Extreme. We are still we're actually gonna change this. We're gonna change this. We're not gonna use the AMD Threadripper. Okay. So we're almost to the point where you guys are going to see the build again. Okay, so here we go. 3950X. Here we go. And this is the board. There's our... So now our CPU. Now you guys are going to watch it happen, like, real time. Oops. We're going to add this to the wish list. So now if you go to builds... Um, if you go to builds, you'll actually start seeing this stuff uh, go up. Okay, so we have... That's our build. This is the P... This is the fan... The fan text. Fan text. Evolve X. Okay, there we go. So we have the Evolve X in uh, satin black. So add to wish list. Going in custom build. So we have the Ryujin 360. Asus AIO. No, no. Okay, here we go. The Ryujin 360 is the, the AIO. Okay, we have 3,600 megahertz, uh, 64 gigs, 64 gigabyte, Dominator, Platinum. 
There we go. Should get up there. There it is. 64 gigs at 3600 megahertz. 3200, 3466, 30,000. That's not it. 30. Wow, this stuff is expensive. Okay, wow, this is $1,000 in RAM. Okay, here we go. Add to wish list. Custom PC. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's see what we look. Let me let me look at my let me look at my wish list now. Uh, all wish list, and it should be updated, guys. You should be the links in the the links in the description are wrong, but everything else is right. Okay, so we have the RAM thing, thing, TPU. Oh, I forgot the motherboard. Crosshair Eight Formula. Formula. X57 Crosshair 8 Formula. There it is. Oh, no, that's the wrong, that's the wrong one. I want the, there it is. 746, it was only, okay, so it wasn't quite the same price. Okay, eight. So this is Newegg now PC. No, nope, that's not that one. Went in custom build. Okay, now the, now you can look at the build and you'll see all the pieces. Okay, view my wish list. And then let's look at the deal here. Is this, I think this, I think the price is actually the same. Um... Yeah, I think the price is actually pretty close to the same, guys. Because it's a 746, but the RAM is more expensive. So the RAM was only 600, so 984. So it's about, it's probably, it's like a 50, it's, it's pretty close to six grand still. Um, because the motherboard, there's some other things that are still the same price. But let me update the titles in my thing. So we'll update the titles real quick. Um, and this is, here we go. So this is the six thousand. here we go, how to build a PC. $6,000 build. 3950 Ryzen 3950X. Thank you very much. 28Ti in a Evolve X. Okay, there we go. Updating all the titles. Okay. And then we're going to go to Mixer. We're going to edit you real quick. Um, broadcast dashboard. We're going to make this 3950X. Price is the same. In Evolve X. There we go. Should be all updated. Okay, so there you go. That's updated. Live streams updated. Come on, there we go. Okay, there we go. That's all updated. Let's check. Let's check real quick on YouTube. That's the one I care about. YouTube. Because you guys are all watching. I can't believe that didn't fit. That was that was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. I find it funny. You guys might have been like, you're an idiot, but it's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with making mistakes on stream. Okay, it's not updated there, but we'll update it now. So 3950X. Fifty X. X twenty eight Ti in Evolve X. And I will update all those links before the thing. So there we go. Evolve X. Okay, there we go. Fixed. Okay, we're back. Now we can all get in there and do it. Go from there. Um, da, 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 da. why Ryzen over an i9? Because this is a streaming and editing rig, and so it's better for streaming and editing. That's just basically how it works. And going here, going to here, there we go, all of it. So did Twitch, is Twitch updated? I don't, I can't tell if it's updated or not. Okay. Okay, and we're at 11 stream, and then we're go. Yeah, it's only an hour. Yeah, so we still have, we still have more, okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this. These are 120s. These aren't even 140s. Those are 120s. I need one more 120. This is only a this is a smaller rad. Great. Take this apart. These are 120s, not 140s. It's great. Okay. There's our fans. We can put this away for a second, and we'll go keep going, keep building. I don't quit. I keep going. Okay.
So now we're going to grab our 140 fan and our 120 fan and get that fixed. Uh, oh, did Twitch not update? I, I hit the button. I thought I was hoping it would. I'll, tw I'll update Twitch in just a second. I'll get Twitch updated. Okay, so Twitch is not updated. We're going to update Twitch real quick. There we go. This is always the fun part. Like you had, I was like so far ahead on this build, had it all prepped and all that sort of stuff. No, it actually did update. Twitch is updated. I can see it. Oh, wow, Twitch looks way worse. I don't know why. Quality, if I do 1080p. Okay, never mind. It's fine. Okay, it just looked it looked worse as it was loading. No, Twitch looks good. Okay. Cool. Let's get our 140 in. Uh 140, come on, let go. There you go. There's our 140 for the back. That is a big fan. Look at how big those fans are. Usually you stick like 120s back there, but we're gonna do we're gonna do the beast. There we go. That'll get I no, oh, that takes up a lot of covers up like a lot of the pretty there. If, let me just look at a 120, see if that covers up a little bit less. I might just do a 120 then. Uh, nope, that's pretty much both kind of, you can still see it. So we'll, we'll do a 120. For the sake of aesthetics, it's not like it's a big deal if I do a 140 versus a 120 in terms of color, I mean, in terms of power and everything like that. I'm not gonna get, it's still gonna get a lot of airflow. This case has got a ton of fans in it. If you want to pick one up, then look, Pablo, if you look down below, there's a really great link right there for that has th that exact thing, if that's what you want. There we go. Put that away. We're just going to do 120 in the back. I have more 120, so that's all good. And you guys can now, like the build link is updated, so you guys can see the most, what, what we're building, like that stuff is all up to date now in the, uh, in the stream. So you guys are, you guys are seeing, you guys can see everything that is, that is being done. Like it's not, uh, it's not wrong anymore. Yeah, I need two of these, that's even better. So I had just, I had a perfect open one that'll just get rid of this one box and I still have a, lots of boxes. Uh, the PSU. Oh, that's a good call. I don't have the right PSU. I do need to update that. Thank you. I will put that in now. The PSU on this is overkill, by the way. It's the ROG Thor 1200 watt. Yeah, this is it. So, okay, that is that is now also been added to the build. Okay. That's all updated, guys, including the including which, which one's there. Okay. Um, we do not need this. We're going to finish this PC. You guys are going to... We're going to finish a PC that we started a long time ago. I'm actually pretty stoked about this. I do not... There it is. I'm actually stoked because this is... I think this is... I feel better because that means I won't have to take this other PC apart. I won't have to take this other PC apart um, when I'm going to build my... When I'm going to build the Lee and Lee PC. So which is all going to be custom water-cooled, so now I don't have to worry as much about it. Okay, la the ends... Okay, somebody's saying it does fit. You just need to move the cable hidden bracket over. It has two screws at the top and two at the bottom. It fits like a boss. Somebody says you can actually put it in. Somebody says you can actually put an EATX motherboard. Well, you know what? I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Let me let me know that you could. We're doing it real time. You can do it, but we're still gonna finish this one because it's already in the middle process of it. So we're gonna we're gonna finish this build. And I'm okay with it. I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you for the info though. Okay, this goes in here. I do need to actually let me take off the back panel of this thing. Whoa. Take off the back panel. Whoa! Calm down there, back panel. We're gonna finish this PC. And then we'll have to take apart the other one. There we go. Okay. 
Now I can go ahead real quick and put our other three fans in. Okay, I want to do this like so. Need fan screws. Oh, Bernie, I may be getting an EATX case. Just going in there. Somebody was letting me know, and that is my thing. And if you, if NZXT watch this is later, I will acknowledge that I just made a command call and said, hey, I'm just gonna do this one instead. And we're gonna use your, yours, your case review. I will use the case review parts that I'll be using later on. So, which would be great. Just opening this up. But it hasn't been done here, so I'm gonna pull our fans here. Do this. Lots of lots of room for cable management in this one. And what I might do, maybe tomorrow, what I do is I finish the uh, maybe I just build the thread or build anyway. But I don't need it. If I use if I finish this one. This one is actually good enough. Like I don't need the thread ripper build, and I can actually do the, the build I need to do. So I feel like it was a, uh, it was a, it was a sign from heaven that Roby, you should finish the other build that you've already have started. That you literally have thousands of dollars of hardware just sitting there, and use that one instead. And then you can do the build that you wanted instead of using the thread ripper as a stopgap. Oopsie, that's what it was saying, ladies and gentlemen. So. But I want to make I want to correct that it looks like you can, if you want to use the H710 as an EATX motherboard, you are completely capable of doing that, and you should not make that mistake if you're like, oh, that doesn't fit. It actually does fit. Oh, oh, I have the wrong camera. I thought I pushed the button. Sorry, guys. I thought I pushed the wrong. I thought I pushed the uh, cam link button. I'm just putting uh, I'm putting fans on in the front right now, in terms of preparing here. There we go. No, I'm I'm stoked because this motherboard is ridiculous that I have here, and I I can't wait to see it all lit up. And we're gonna do that today because this build is already like it's like all of the stuff that I basically had done in the previous like in the stream up until this point where we put the thread ripper together and all that sort of stuff is now is now uh is now here. I'm not gonna make this searchable though, because this isn't really a good, <laughs> this is not a good thing. And by the way, mods, I can see the chat. So I, I have the mod chat up so I can see that stuff. My mods are chatting about stuff in the in the channel. Um, Next fan. Uh, this, oh, he's, well, he's going to the, is the, Z, is the Xenix fitting it? It can. You can actually make it fit. Um, there is a, you can remove the screw and move it over for an EATX. Um, I just found out at a later point. So you can actually fit that motherboard in and I could have, but I am, I am going to save it for another build because that honestly, this little change is better because I need to do this. I need to do this build and I need to finish this build and I can just use this machine instead. My next build is supposed to be about 3350, huh? <laughs> because your girlfriend's like, yeah, that's what your next build's gonna be. Is it for her? The build you're doing, is it for her? Okay, here we go. Pulling this one in. What we're just doing right now is running all the cabling. I might be shy, I don't know, I might be shy a piece that I need because I actually have seven fans. Oh no, never mind, I'm, I'm good. This has a, uh, this has a uh, fan hub. I'm just gonna be using a lot of um, Commander Pro, I mean, uh, lighting nodes. And I actually have a USB fan thing if I need to use that too. I only need, two. I think I might need four. 
because I'm, I'm, I have six fans that I have lit, seven fans that I have lit, which is one fan too many, unfortunately. Because the Lighting Node Pro only does six fans, but I only have to use, I actually, no, I actually won't have to use that, so that'll actually work. Cool, I just realized that. I'm actually in good shape. I'm just talking through my build at the same time. What did I do with the other? Oh, there it is. Okay. Two more fans. And then we have all the fans installed. The PC part list is fixed, JB. It is fixed. It's actually all updated. The only thing that's not updated is in the description. That stuff is, I, I won't be able to do that real time. Um, that'll just take that. I won't be able to do that till after the show's over. But the, it, the list that I, the list that's at the very, the list that's going up, those are actually right. They're still expensive to make. 1080 Ti's and 2080 Ti's are still expensive to make. They're still high, high price dies and they're limited. They're still powerful called. He's talking. He's talking about the thousand dollar build. Which thousand dollar build? What's wrong with the thousand dollar build? I'm watching. I am seeing chat guys as I go through this stuff. What's wrong with the thousand dollar build? It is a six thousand dollar build because the RAM. The RAM is $1,000. It's 64 gigs of 3,600 megahertz RAM at Dominator Platinum. It's CL14. So the RAM is almost $1,000. And then the PSU is more expensive. And the, the motherboard. If you want to add it up, you can take a look at it. Look at the new, look at the parts list and let me know. If I, if I need to update the price, I will. The, the link isn't working for the $1,000 build. Oh, um, okay, let me look at that. You're talking about the link in the description? I'm checking it now. Hold on one sec. What happened to this list? That's weird. Why did the list disappear? Oh no. Oh no, I know why. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did I send the long, did I, did I really do the wrong list? Hold on. Oh my gosh, seriously guys, I'm sorry. Um, thank you, Cheeto. Uh, hold on one sec, I'm fixing the list. I thought that list was right. Um, what list did, did I not do? I really did the sin. I did the wrong list. Which which list? Which, which PC am I sending? Oh, it's in the new egg now. It's so okay, guys. It's in the new egg now deals. Why? Wow, what? Nobody said anything. That's weird. Okay. Okay. Let me fix. Here's the list, guys. The list is in the. It's actually in the new egg now deals. Uh, so it's not the deals link. I'll, I'll give you the real link. Hold on one sec. Um, it's the, 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 the one that's in there is the right one. Gosh, darn it. I mean, it's like, I, like, I'm surprised. Like nobody, like nobody on Twitter mentioned that. Um, that's pretty funny. Okay. Hold on one sec. I'm fixing that list guys. One sec. What, what, um, did you, the other link does work though. Okay, hold on. Okay, that list is, the list is slowly starting to fix itself. You should see stuff now. Oh, this isn't the right build. What happened to that PC? Wait a minute, did somebody, wait, did somebody, it sound, it looks like, it almost looks like somebody deleted the build, but that shouldn't be possible. Cause it's all gone. That whole entire build is gone. 
which doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry guys, somebody for some reason that whole build just disappeared. I don't know how that build disappeared or what happened. Um, it's a public build that nobody could, like nobody should be able to edit it, but somehow they were able to edit the list or something like that. I don't know what happened. Uh, that's weird. It was like literally like the whole build went away. The whole, the whole, the whole thing totally went away. It was like, it was all there and then now it's all gone. That's super weird. Um, hold on, it's coming, it's coming back in now. Um, that's, that's like, how did that even happen? That doesn't even make any sense. Um, yeah, that's, how does that, how did that, so strange. Uh, yeah, I don't even know how that could have done that. Did somebody, like, when you guys look at that list, when you look at that list, can you guys see, can you guys see the, can you, can you edit the list? You shouldn't be able to. Um, can you edit the list? I'm just curious if any, like when you look at the list, are you actually able to edit the list? That's so weird, right? Like it just... I've been, I've been like, I've been like watching that whole thing um yeah can you can can somebody like can is somebody is like can somebody see like when you look at the um when you look at the list that's there can you see the list like is it editable yeah i i mean I, i'm just curious like that that's just interesting that that thing would do that right like that's the part that's super weird um okay well we'll fix it later okay that's yeah, I cannot edit. I don't know what happened, why it disappeared or what happened, but the whole build, the whole build just disappeared. I don't know. I don't know how it did that or what it did that, but okay, let's finish the build. That's strange. Like I was like, oh, what are you fixing? But the thousand dollar PC is gone. Yeah, there's only two. I can edit and you delete it. Oseus. It, it's, I don't understand how you can edit it. So you can put more stuff in it? I cannot edit it. You can edit. What does it do when you delete it? Can you delete the stuff? Does it all just go away and then you reload it? Let me showing that stuff. Yeah, but that's not it. That's not, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how that, I don't know how that build, I don't know how that build did that. Like I had a special build that was just for that, for this today, and that build is gone. Like completely gone. Like that build just disappeared and it doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, that's not the right build though, Blondie. The one that I had was that New Egg Deals one that had like that whole, like it was the one I was walking through earlier. It had. The motherboard and it had uh the, the whole thing was filled out the 1660 super and that like i i had it up on the street on the screen and now I, oh i'm curious let's just actually let's look at it here because it should be it's right here yeah the new egg now dlpc is sitting right here and i can see everything here And it's like the stuff, the stuff sold out. But now if I go back to this, 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 yeah, I can actually see it right here. But like the, for some reason, like it was all filled out. And then now the whole thing is, oh no, it's all, no, two of it's, yeah, the only, the only two parts of it are there. It's like it, it got, it's like it got erased. 
there is a link to this build. There is a link to this build, but for some reason, my link to my, like the, the build that I built for everybody um, that has all the info, like that's my 1K build that I did a whole build on is all gone. Like the whole build just disappeared. I'll fix it after the stream guys and we'll have, we'll, we'll get that all up again. That's just weird. I don't even know how that happened. Um, one more, one more fan. The PC build, the actual PC build link is actually okay, uh, Blondie. That one actually works. I've updated that. So the PC, that PC build link works and it actually is the right parts. Okay, let's get this last build. Let's get this last fan in. I don't know what happened there. That's that's strange. It's like it's funny because it's like the easiest way to share that stuff. The easiest way to share that fun that stuff is uh, is to um, is to do it the way that I did, right? And like, but if the if the if the if the wish list can get edited and then it just disappears, that's not good. You're like, oh, I want to I want to be able to edit that stuff. It's unfortunate. Um, I'll make a new one. Th By the way, there'll be a new one thousand list tomorrow. I'll make sure that's updated. I'll have a backup just in case. And then that won't go in there, but we'll get that edited. Sorry, guys. Uh, a lot of the, the motherboard is sold out. So some so people have bought the motherboard already. That motherboard did sell out. Um, it looks like the RAM and the CPU is still there. Like that's still available. Um, the I don't know about the graphics card. I have to check on that. Okay, all of our fans are in. All of our fans are in. Um, we should go ahead and hook up all... We're going to go ahead and pull all this stuff through to the back and just kind of get all of our all of our uh, cabling back up in here like it needs to be kind of like this weird like there's not a lot of room to pull cabling down so this is going to be going to be super interesting here we'll pull this stuff through under fifteen hundred dollars that's like a 2080 ti this pc will run SimCity, yes and it'll run crisis Uh, 1600, 1660 Super is, Landon. Yeah, dude, the parts, the parts are selling out. They, it's just because the, like, there's just, there's just not a lot of stock right now. Hey, welcome channel one. Welcome to stream, guys. Just pulling all our cables through here. Thank you very much for everybody for hanging out today. Sorry for the technical difficulties. This is probably the most technically weird Robitech I've ever had. Like, I built a thing and then, like, we had to switch builds halfway through and it's just been a weird stream. Thank you very much for everybody hanging out, though, because you're still here. Oh, nice. Awesome, J-Man. The graphics card is the, uh, yeah, channel one's here. Yeah. Okay, pulling all the cables through here. Make sure all of our cables are pulled through. We got one more cable. It's just kind of sitting down here. This is our, get more fans if I cared. We'll go ahead and pull them in. I still got to hook up all of the, all of the RGB. There's a lot of RGB in this, in this build. There we go. There we go. That's a nice long USB cable, at least. Okay, wow, that's already looking way better and cleaner. That looks way better and cleaner already. We'll look at that. We'll show you this here in just a second. We did. We still need to install our M.2 drives because I stole them from this build. And now that I, I'm going to do this. Okay, here we go. How's that look? Much better. I am having fun building this. I'm just surprised that I just I don't know what happened 
to my I know I don't know what like I'm I'm genuinely like hurt bothered by the fact that this um that this that the that this this random thing just disappeared right like it's just like it's weird that the whole thing just kind of went away like that's super strange um but I I I should I I'm trying to see real quick um it should actually start like if you look now it should start repopulating you should start you actually should start to see the pieces coming back the only thing that's missing right now is the uh, motherboard which is out of stock anyway and the PSU so that stuff should be coming back now guys I was just checking on it okay let's put our let's put our m.2 back in our two m.2 drives oops get rid of these these are just sitting out here, just causing problems like a boss. Oopsie. Yeah, there we go. So most of it's actually falling. Yeah, it's all gremlins for sure. But now if you refresh, the RAM is back. It looks like the, the CPU is back. The graphics card is back. So some of the stuff is actually back. So you guys can, sorry to see it. We need to find a new motherboard because the other one sold out. The M.2 and I need to find a new uh the i'll find the uh the psu the psu is back ordered uh right now so i don't know what to, you uh we'll see if we can add that real quick hold on it's something he's just asking me to add the psu okay um while we're waiting for that to load get our m.2 installed and hi robita hey what's up sds how are you thank you very much for the super chats and everything else by the way guys weird weird day okay let's get this back installed I'm gonna take apart the other thing. I think I feel like this is stuck, maybe? It shouldn't be stuck, but it's acting stuck. This is pretty, the one thing I like about this, this motherboard is how you install the M.2s is interesting. Hold on, I don't, be careful here. Because there's a single screw that holds both the M.2s in. Is that the thick one? Yeah, it is. It's like, why is this having a problem? We're using the wrong screw head. There we go. Come on, let go, let go. There we go, okay. This is super interesting, check this out. The way this M.2 installs, is there's a single screw that holds both M.2s. You just basically unscrew this one and then you put them both in and then they both work. Okay, there we go. Okay, so he's saying, Hold on one second. Let me, let me get your, your power supply added here. We want bronze, 750, apply. Okay, the, now the power supply is back on there. Okay, power supply is back on there. So you can see that now too. Okay, let's get the, let's get the M.2s out of this and put them on to the other thing. We can just store this. Come on. Let go. Gotta make sure you got this all the way out. There we go. Oops, let me go back to my chat here so I can see what you guys are saying. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's grab this off. We're gonna switch out to take this in 970 Evo and we're gonna put it into the other drive. Like taking apart a PC at the same time I'm putting together a PC. Okay, so this is our one terabyte right there. Again, signing the PCB, it's just gonna go right in the center like that. What do you know of U2, Roby? I do not know a whole, I, I know of, I like some of their music. That's what I know of them. I know Joshua Tree. Yes, please update the list later for this build. The list for this build is actually updated. Uh, minus in the description. I will update the description for this below here later, yes. But this build is, uh, this. I will have all the parts for this build. But the, if you look at the stuff that's going in there, U2, you mean M.2 or you, you mean M.2 or U to the band?
Yeah, the gremlins, I'm looking at my mod chat, right? Like the whole gremlin thing was serious. Hey, what's up, Hustler? How are you, man? What was that? Guys, we're nine away from giving away $50 new gift card. Let's finish it out. Let's finish it strong. 787. Sorry for the weirdness today. Um, if somebody wants to find from the sale, I think we would. I think the only thing we're waiting for is a good motherboard. Is the only thing I'm lacking right now. I think the everything else is actually all up to date. Because the cooler is included with the 3600X. I need a haircut too. Yeah, U2 SSDs. Yeah, those aren't. Those aren't. I've never heard of a U2 SSD. If you're if you're joking and you're saying an M2 M.2 SSD, I think you're joking, and so that's it's a funny joke. Yeah, that one goes right there. There we go. I'll just put this back in. There are U2 SSDs. I don't even, I don't know. Oh, that's actually, no, it's actually a thing. Oh, that's awesome. What is U2, what is a U2 SSD? I, I guess I've never heard of a U2. No, so I don't know a whole lot about U2 SSDs. U2 was a thing. Okay, is it a thing or was it a thing? I don't know a whole lot about that. Then hook to fan header on motherboard, okay. U.2, got it, U.2 like M.2. I, uh, my wife does my haircuts. Okay, there we go guys, that's all. Now the other one is all put away. They're, what are the do? Where are they on high? Are they on high end? I have to look it up. I don't know. Oh, U.2 was before M.2. Well, then I like I started. I started really kind of building again when M.2 was new. So that was before. That was before me then. Like M.2 with a back bend. So I I was I'm not very familiar with U.2. Okay, there we go. Come on, get in that. You just hit that clip on wrong. It's always the fun part. Like I, you got if you hit it straight down, then it just goes right in. But if you don't hit it straight down, you look a little bit of. No, get in there. There we go. And then both of them screw down like that. I have to look it up. That's a little bit of... I, did, I never really played with them or used them. So I sell... Some of them are com for commissions. Uh, some of them, I, like this one I'm keeping. This one is going to replace my streaming rig that's over here. Um, and then some of them uh, I we give away. Like we, the, the May the 4th build we give away. It's funny because that like X570 board that I put in there, like it was up for like just a matter of like an hour and now it's gone. That's so sad. Like it's, I keep putting them up and then they keep selling out almost as fast as I put them up. Wow, we have 1400, 1500 people hanging out right now. Sorry about the weirdness today, guys. I apologize. Sometimes it's just going to happen. It's not always going to be perfect. Okay, so M.2s are installed. All of our, like, all of our fans are installed. Motherboard is, in, like, AIO is already installed. We took care of that last time. So really kind of where we're at, we're at, like, the end here. We got to put the PSU in and some other things. But let's go ahead and take a look at our cable management and get it all ready. Um, we got to run all of our, our lighting and stuff like that, which is always weird. And then we probably are going to need a USB hub because there's just that much. We won't need a fan. We won't actually need all that many fan hubs because, honestly, for fans... We have a lot of, we have, like, I have a full, I have four here, and then I've got a bunch I can run off of the AIO. Um, but uh, unfortunately, I'm going to need multiple USB. Um, and if I don't have a Commander Pro, I'm kind of screwed there. 
So I might have to run, have to actually run another um, fan header. Okay, there we go. There's one fan. Oh, by the way, one of these is actually, I need to figure out which one of these, that's power. One of these is for the um, one that comes off of the AIO. That's for this. This is the CPU. That's the pump, the pump, pump header. So I got to plug that one in, right? Um, where's my other fans? Okay, there's a fan. Four fans. There we go. And header, and header. That one. Oops. No, nope, that's not. That's RGB. This is RGB. This is fan header. That's actually our back fan. Let's actually run this one like this. There we go. This one like this. There we go. I'm gonna put this down a little bit. Okay, and then this one, I'm gonna go right here because that's our back fan. It was before. Okay, there's that. Okay, and then we have a couple more fan headers. That's RGB, RGB. There's our fan header. Fan header. Another RGB back here. B, and then we have one more fan header right here. Okay, there's all our fan headers hooked up. So all of our fans are now hooked up. Okay. This is our power. Go with here in a minute. This is our USB, which we have a long USB, which is great. Thank you very much for that, Asus. Not a lot of, I'll be honest, like the ones that come off of like Cooler Master or NZXT, like they're just that much too short in terms of the, how much cable they give you. So it's always nice when Somebody's like, hey, I know you have to run this like quite a distance to make sure that you can like cable manage this appropriately. And not everybody does that. So I'm I'm grateful for those who actually did that. There we go. Zip tie those bad boys together. Keep them quiet. Keep them, keep them quiet. There we go. Okay. And done. Okay. That's out of the way. There's all those. Now, do the same thing here. We have three fans, RGB, RGB, and where's our other RGB? Where's our other RGB header? Actually, no, 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 no. I'm missing one. I'm missing one. Where are you, buddy? Oh, down here. No, no, no. There they are. Yeah, they are. Okay, RGB and fan header. Okay. And we have this like one, the one thing that's going to be kind of tough about this one is like I said, uh, the thing is made for six fans, not seven. And so it's going to be a little bit wacky if to run the seventh fan. This is going to be just long enough to go up here. Thank you very much for that. Okay. Fan hub for the win. Thank you, Fantex, for that. Awesome. Again, another, that's RGB. We have two more fan hubs. We're going to run this one under all this stuff, so it's all cable managed again. Got to make sure it looks pretty, you know what I'm saying? Bye, Channel One. Thanks for hanging out. See you later. Are we going to get these last subs, guys? There's still 150 people hanging out in Mixer right now. Okay, one more fan header, and there we go. There's all our fan headers. And then, so all of our fans are hooked up now, which is great. What we're going to do... We're gonna run this one down like this. And the only thing I gotta do next is I gotta run, I'm gonna straighten up my front panel connectors, but let us get these all run. And we've got one more on the front, but it sounds like most of this stuff is gonna be pretty straightforward. Yeah, I'll be able to manage all that stuff here in a minute. Okay, so we've got a USB cable. We gotta run down here. What is this? Why is this all long? Not when you fail with the cable management part. This one more time. Fail the cable management right there. I love like that's the one thing I do like about this case is the and the NZXT case had a similar thing. It's just 
It's got a fan hub, so you don't have to worry as much as like, oh, I'm going to have a lot of fans. No worries. The only thing I got to worry about is just USB headers, which is going to be a little bit of a problem, but not, not as big of a deal. There we go. There we go. And this I got to find a spot for. This is going to go here and run all of our front panel connectors, make sure all that stuff gets hooked up. Okay. So USB-C, I don't remember where USB-C is. I'm assuming USB 2 is here. I don't remember where USB, I think USB-C is actually up here. Let's see if I guess correctly. Over under on me guessing correctly where USB-C is. Um, HD audio, that's easy. Let me go way over here. Uh, I'm guessing, where's all of my other, oh, that's right, there's only one. These are going to go right here, I'm assuming. I'm going to guess that USB 3 is right here. I'm also going to guess that there's also a fan header right here. Let's see if I'm right. Is he right? We'll find out. Oh, sorry guys, audio, music stopped. Let's fix that. I was like, oh, it's feeling kind of quiet and dead in here. But that's because the music stopped. Okay, music has started again. Now we'll get that here in a minute. These are all our, but we got a lot hooked up. Okay, this is all We're pretty. Okay, take a look at this on the other side. Oh, let's get, did I guess right? I, I, I know where some of the stuff I definitely guessed right. Oh, ooh, I, I did better than I thought. Hey, USB-C, I actually guessed correctly. And I could go, I'm going to go one more up. There's our HDR USB-C. There we go. USB-3. I'm going to go in a straight line. Oh, and I also guessed right, there's a fan header here. I am, I am like batting a thousand right now. Question is, can I get this under here because I actually want to run it up one no no come on Roby there we go okay fan header what is that stuck in there we go okay fan header right there the fan hub. And then this. I'm gonna go right here. There's our USB 3. There we go. Only two USB 2, unfortunately, which is sad. RGB headers are ah, I was off by the RGB header, unfortunately. So we'll fix that. We have another USB 3 here, but this is our power switch, which is right here. Only one cable there. RGB is going to go one over USB. I guess I got to switch USB and I got to switch RGB. Outside of that, I'm good. HD audio goes right here. There you go. Okay, so we're going to switch two cables and then all our front panel connectors are plugged in. And then up here, I brought a fan header in. There it is. Question is, which one of those 50,000 of them there is your CPU? Yeah, I have to look at the motherboard manual. Real quick, guys. Gotta figure out which one is the CPU manual, CPU header top. System memory, I don't care about that. Four, there we go. Fan pump connectors, 121. CPU fan is... B. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I would have never guessed that. Second one. Okay. Is there a CPU fan? Oh, yeah. Let me go ahead and very quickly, now that I have all this stuff hooked up, I'm going to go and zip tie it.
Okay, here we go. Make sure it looks clean. This build look clean. It's for Asus, the ROG build. You gotta make sure it looks good. They made sure the board looked good. You gotta make sure the build looks good. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure it looks pretty. You gotta look pretty. There we go. There we go. Okay. That is all. That looks nice and clean. You can't really see. That is a bit of a mess there. Pull that. Can't see it now though. Okay. I'm gonna clip that off. Thank you for the kind words, by the way. I saw that about the cleanliness. I appreciate it. I want it to look good. There we go. Looks nice and clean. Turn that around. Turn that around. Okay. Now the nice thing about this is the one thing that's really nice about this particular AIO. We're gonna peel this off, and it's an OLED, right? So it'll be nice. We'll get a Robitech sticker and a Robitech thing in there. But then you've got this thing that basically will take over the rest of it. that goes over it like that so looks nice and clean there and then this peel so lots of mirror yeah see looks good part up here Okay, now we just gotta switch those one cables. And then we can put in our, we can basically put in our graphics card. So switch these two cables on the bottom and then we can go ahead and actually, before we get to graphics card, we should go ahead and run. Whoa. Oops, forgot about that part. It's all good. Gotta take that off. All good. Not a big deal. Completely spaced on that. The top. I forgot to take the top off, but it's off now. It's all fine. I didn't have it screwed on. Okay. Okay, so we want to we just want to switch this. And where's the other one? There's an RGB header. There it is. These two go on opposite sides. And this is all good. Okay, so let's fix those real quick. I'm going to just hook those up so I have the links right. Oh, no, it's still... Is it frozen? Okay, hold on one sec, guys. I'll fix it. Properties. Deactivate. There you go. Fix now. Okay, let's go ahead and fix that one... One side here. This is going to go right here. Then I'm going to run my NZXT part, and this is our addressable, addressable RGB right here. We can change the colors here. to install the NZXT, we need to install the NZXT USB extension, USB thing, because we're gonna need to ensure that, because we're gonna need three total, because I have to run a, I will have a sixth, a seventh lighting, another lighting node, so I'll have two lighting nodes. I don't I think it's only a C, maybe it's two, we'll see. I think this is, is this, I think actually, no, I only need one. Okay, good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, I'm actually good. I'll need two of the actual lighting node 
things, but I only need one of the, I only need, okay, cool. So I will not need a USB header, another USB extension. Need two of those. Two of these. Okay. Let's get all of our fan, our lighting hooked up. There's always a bit of a problem because it just always takes like a lot of room. So we're gonna hide, put all these in. There's one, put that in six. Let's see, five, four, to run them differently. Okay, those are these are going to be actually. I want to do one. We're going to run them into two different ones. Two. There we go. Okay, so there's the top one. So that'll be the first. That'll be hub number one. Lots of cabling for these, as always. And this is our lighting node. Yeah, I think I'm gonna not do that yet. I think I'm gonna just, I think if I do it right here, maybe? Just sticky enough, no. I think I could put them off of the edge, but then I don't know if that's gonna look all that good. I'm trying to think of the best way to install these. I could put them here, put them up here, and they look there up here and they'll be fine. So let's do that, we'll do that, and then we'll kind of clean them up this way. I think that'll actually look the best, something like this. Now it's easier to basically get to them. Yeah. Here's one. That's still not justified. All the boards I still show cost too much. Oh, I didn't know what you guys were chatting about. I don't, I, again, guys, I really, honestly, I think that we, like, I have, like, I have, it is, even though you probably see some high markup, there's been a lot of, like, deals, like, specifically where prices have gone down because the deals have, the deals have gotten really good. So I don't know, like, even though you might see some that have been pretty bad, right? Like, I'd say for the most part, like, it's been a really good time to buy PCs, um, at least for the prices and stuff that I've seen. So getting back in a chat. Sorry, guys. Zip tying these up so it looks nice. Nars is 160 a bit more than you. Oh, are you guys talking about, or is it, or are you talking about overseas? Is it more expensive? There we go. Let's get these kind of cleaned up. This is always like the weirdest part, like getting these into a point where they will kind of be, look nice, not be as much of a mess. Some of these are longer than others and it's just kind of wacky. Try and do your best, right? But do with what you There we go. Kind of clean these up as best we can. What did I do with my oh, there, there? I was like, where are all my index twos? There we go. 
There's one hub. And then we want one of these. And this is your, this connects to our, our smaller controller. And you want to make, you can't make them too long, but remember this whole thing will be hidden um, by the, by this back little door here. So it's going to stick out here. I'm going to do, undo this and we'll figure that out. This is for power. So this will be nice and hidden when it's all said and done. Okay, next hub. It's gonna go like that. I dropped my RAM when building. You watch too much Linus, huh? Okay, there we go. Hub number two. Grab the RGB for this one. It's only going to be three plugging into this one. One, two, and three. Go. I think I might actually want to do this. Caring about the build, you want to make sure it looks good. So you just want to make sure you're doing as much cable management as possible. And so that takes care. There's two. And there's three. This one we're going to kind of zip tie with this. Zip tie this together. Actually, what do I do with this do? Grab this real quick before I zip tie. I have all of them all zip tied. <clears throat> so it looks clean coming out of the side. Okay, there we go. Yeah. we go. We'll kind of zip tie these together real quick. Looks like a nice little channel there. Want it to look nice. Time crud. When you forget about a critical part, it is zip tied that, and then I would have had everything. We'll do that one more time. Waste two more zip ties, but whatever. Just zip ties. Actually, I might no. Not do that. Oh, zip ties are fun. Come on. Give me the zip tie. Being squirrely for me. There we go. Got it. Ha. Ah, zip tie. You're mine. Zip tie, you're mine. Okay, there we go. Okay. And we're going to take this one. Going to very kindly and very gently. Cut it off. There we go. Oops. I go through so many zip ties. It's like a it's like a necessity. Does I don't what do you do I need one East? I have I've had a couple people suggest it. 
like to have a guest host um, because like sometimes like it gets like quiet like right now. But the problem is, is that um, it's hard to know when I need it and when I don't. And so sometimes I need it, sometimes I don't. But, um, but is that what you're asking? Hey, and if you're on YouTube, if you guys are enjoying the content, you're hanging out with you, there's there's a bunch of you watching right now. Make sure you hit that like button. That is a huge help for me. Just making sure you're, you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, all that sort of stuff for all of you guys who are hanging out on YouTube. On Mixer and Twitch, make sure that you hit that follow button. Uh, make sure that you hit that, yeah. Okay, so we're getting through there. Okay, we're gonna, we've got, now we've got all of our RGB stuff basically ready to go. We just gotta hook one more, couple small pieces in and then all of our fans are hooked up. There we go. Getting dangerously close to pretty much, actually all we'll have left here after this is the PSU. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, this is kind of a mess though. So. Okay, we have the things I care about, I want off of this are these things. I don't want them all twisted up with everything else. These are the parts that do not belong. Where are you? You. Okay. Everything else is actually not so much cables that go with these, these RGB fans sometimes. And what we're gonna do here, to make it easy, not get that stuck. This out, this goes up top. I'm doing good, thank you very much for asking. All of the folks who are asking me how I'm doing, I'm doing great. I'm just, at this point in time, I'm just getting cables clumped up for the end. Kind of clean this little bit up. We're working on here at the end, and then we're gonna... Okay. Wrap, wrap these together, and then that'll kind of really make a big difference in terms of how these stay clumped. And then once we pull the plastic down on them. There you go. I mean, that looks, that already looks so much cleaner. Let me just do that. That down like that. Put one more cable down. And then we're good. Okay, here we go. Finish this one, and then we've gone through two packs of uh, cable ties already. We're not even done with this build yet. How's that? Ha <laughs> ha! Entertainment at its best. Okay. We've got all of these. The last thing we have to do, we got everything kind of cleaned up here. So we have like all of the cables all hooked up. The stuff looks nice. We got some more that we'll do down here when we're done. But for the most part, like this is actually looking pretty clean. These are not important because I'm not going to do anything with them. This I do need because that's our fan hub power. We're gonna just kind of tackle these here in a minute. But in terms of this stuff, I can do this. I can do this. Okay, the last part of this whole process is this little bad boy. This is our, this is what controls the lighting when we're done. The one thing that is the limiter on this is the distance that this, you, we know what I was talking about is like, hey, I like that Asus gives us a really, really long USB cable. Corsair is the opposite. They give us like the shortest USB cable in the world. So the places that you have to mount this are limited by how much USB room you have. And so our USB cable goes right here. So we're, I think we're pretty much gonna end up installing our, our little lighting node pro thing, like really close to just right down here. And then all of this other stuff that's up here is all of our power for that stuff. So we should have, there they are. Couple of these bad boys. Okay, here we go. So if I stick it, if I do this right here, I've got, uh, I've got that right there. Fix that real quick. There we go. Trying to make sure I have room for this thing. Okay, so if I might stick, I might do this like right here. Feels okay. 
And what I need is not this, because that's power. This and this. These both have to go all the way down. Like this. Come on, there we go. One more, there we go. Okay. These are gonna go right here. There's one. There's two. Oh, I should have not done that yet. Actually, I can do this. It's the same thing. Okay, there we go. Pull this through. We'll do another zip tie when we're done with our little tensions. There's that. And then the last thing I need is this. It plugs in right here. On the top part. Like that. There we go. Okay. Now, now, for all of the pain that I just went through, all of our beautiful RGB, RGB, RGB is all hooked up. Okay. There's our RGB. I got to hook up that one USB. Everything else here looks good. Our power cables are right here for it. This, I got to cut these couple things off. This will fix real quick. There we go. All of our power stuff goes in here. Look at all that. Oh, we got one more there. Still a jack, it's still a mess of cables, but it looks much cleaner than it did. That goes right there. This one. Do this here in a minute. And there's so many, so much power that you have to run for this thing. So, okay, there we go. We'll run that. Okay, so that takes care of this. We got all this stuff. We can pull these up. These. We haven't hooked up our, our uh, there we go. We can hook this, pull this one under, go. Okay, now, do that, closes beautifully. There we go. There's all of our cables. Now we're just gonna plug in our other things and let's get our extensions done. And then, Basically ready for a power supply. Here's our H our USB. We have lots of room for. Let me do this. Make sure it's space. Come on, baby. It's all about making sure, like, if you're gonna build a build. You want it to look as clean as humanly possible. So I'm gonna do this. Kind of shove it down. Let me use this to hold this other cable down. There we go. Look at that. How clean that looks. Okay. So go ahead. Grab our extensions. Let's throw our cable extension in here. And uh, then we'll throw in our graphics card. And then we, all we gotta do after that is put the PSU in. Let's get our GP, let's get our, this is all garbage. Okay, next up is cable extensions. Here we go. And I actually, I'm pretty happy because even though I didn't know I was doing this build, no, that's not the one I want. I, want, I have red and black cables, which I think will be ideal for this Asus ROG build. For red and black, so we'll grab the red and black ones. I thought those were just red, but they're just, Red, red and black. Those are purple. Go. Oh, those are just red. I have red and black in here. Well, hopefully, it's got to be these last ones.
Yeah, they're there. Okay. Okay, got our red and black cables here. Okay, red and black. I think this will look great. Again, Asia horse, which always looks awesome. Look at those. Dun, 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 dun. I think those look awesome. We go right here. So we're gonna get these are our red and black cables. I think these will look great with this build. We'll get that little splash of red that we wanted. I think it'll look awesome. We're gonna get these these uh, kind of wrapped up and looking nice. <laughs> oh, it's nine thirteen. Jeez. Yeah, extensions. Of course, we're doing extensions. Huh. Okay. There you go. It's gonna go right there. There we go. Okay. Okay, get our extension things done real quick. You're running out of time to build your rig. Why is that, Keith? Thank you very much, Keithness. Yeah, I think these are going to look. I think these are going to look good. And you guys haven't even seen the, all the rest of the theming that we have here. So this. This build was completely themed and we have, like it's been sitting here for a long, long time. It's just, we've been waiting to finish it. And so you guys get the privilege of watching us finish this theme build um, that we've been sitting on for a while. Um, and I think it's, I think I'm happy that this is getting done. We're super close to it done now. What do you guys think of how the build looks so far though? Looks clean. We do that. We actually do that, Orange Bear. We did that for uh, Extra Life. Um, we do that every year at Christmas. We did the um, holographic build, and we did the Scorpio-themed PC, uh, the McLaren-themed PC. Um, so we've done four charity builds, and they raised a total. They've raised like a hundred and what was it like? Well, last year between the two, a little over seventy grand. So they do pretty good. Thank you. Thanks for all the subscriptions, guys. Thank you for all that stuff. Hey, uh, Mixer, let's. Uh, are we gonna are we gonna finish out this a little bit? Yeah, nice, clean, nice colors, right? That's what we want, right? Like it, it's got to look good. Okay, one more extension, and then we're gonna open up and put this last put our GPU in. I think we'll look good. It's just the last part of the ROG we're gonna be putting in this build. We're gonna get it all ready. This is this is a beastly build, I must say. 3950X, 64 gigs of RAM, 3600 megahertz, 1.5 terabytes of M.2. It's a, it's a beast, it's a beast. All right, what I'm doing to the cables is these are cable extensions and these are cable combs. And that's what I was doing, was installing cable combs on the cable extensions. We're just gonna install these real quick. These are gonna go right here. And this is just to add that little pop of color the build and we'll I'll show you what it looks like on the other side okay now you guys will be surprised i'm gonna pull this through oh, i'm just knocking cable combs off it's no big deal okay here it is pull that down here if you just go ahead and strap them down because that way it closes we didn't know those weren't in, even in there a 
this one go like that where our thing's gonna sit. Oopsie. There we go. Come on, get in. Okay. There we go. Here's our top down, and then what we do basically close these. It'll hide of our cable comb look. You can't see that very much. And then I'll tie those down, tighten those down so they stay clamped. There we go. And then you have that nice red and black look. Hides it all. Looks good. Okay, there we go. There's our top down. Last part of this is going to be our graphics card that's going to go right across the top here. We're going to get that installed. There we go. Ooh, there we go. Okay. Last part. Graphics. I was almost through those ways. Like, what am you what are you doing? Okay, here we go. We need this. Here it is. The beefy boy himself. The, a, the ROG STRI Agatha Strix. Absolutely beast of a card. Looks absolutely incredible. And we'll finish off our ASUS ROG themed PC. There it is. Ooh, quite right, a little dent there. Luckily, there's a lot of protection around this card. There it is. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. There we go. They're not coming out until uh, next year, so we have some time. So 3080s are still probably at least a year away. Okay, here we go. Open this bad boy up. go right there we got a couple peels finish out our stuff there's one right there when you cut your nails as a not peeling is not your fan, friend you cut your nails sometimes especially on these like little these little ones that are kind of like on the fan tops. Hey, come on, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Another one. Last one. Come on, let go. There it goes. There we go. Okay. Here's the last peel. Thank you. Yeah, this is a big boy card for sure. There we go right there. Beautiful and ready to go. Last part. Ah, give it to me. Give me the, okay. Now. Line this up. Oh, that looks so good. So pretty, top down. Here we go. It's all nice, lined in, lined in now. One more little peel there. <laughs> the 
It's a COVID GPS. COVID. Okay, one in. And two in. Okay, there's that. Now all we gotta do is run our little extensions for the graphics card. There's one. And there's two. Okay. We're just gonna put some cable combs on this real quick. This car, this PC is almost done, ladies and gentlemen. PC is almost done. We're gonna do at least a $25 new gift card, which is great. I'm okay with it today. Today is today was just an interesting day. Not quite the typical Roby Tech that we're used to. I tell you, I tell you what. Okay. Go ahead and put four of these in. Uh, the sale is they're they're thirty five dollars and they actually are up on Newegg now. So I've got that link there if you actually want to look them up. It's for the first time they're actually up on Newegg, which has been nice. Thank you for all the subs, guys. How many likes do we have on the on the video right now? Now, guys, do not forget tomorrow we have Newegg now, which means I have that a thousand dollar PC, but we will have other deals as well. And so usually, if you want to get a PC, if you want to if you want to get if you're looking for PC, that is a good episode to watch from a show standpoint because um, that's when I'll like, they'll give me special deals that are only gonna run during those episodes and uh, we'll see how long they last. Um, so you wanna, you'll definitely wanna tune in for that. That happens tomorrow starting at 6.30. We're gonna be fixing a PC, one of the commission PCs that I got, they got damaged in shipping. We're gonna be replacing the motherboard in that. And then we're gonna be prepping our uh, bench, our new bench and getting the bench colored and readied for Robitex. We're gonna add red to it. Um, uh, we're gonna change the color of the liquid, all that sort of stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna replace the fans and get it more uh, more Robitech ready is the plan. And then Friday, uh, we're gonna do the case review for the H710 um, and then we're gonna show off, we'll basically show off uh, either the thousand dollar build that I just did by putting the CPU and GPU in and uh, making sure that that's all nice and powerful. So the basically the thing is, is like anytime I do a recommendation for you, I'll throw the CPU and GPU on the test bench and you guys can see how well it runs. So you guys can feel good. It's like, hey, well, how's it gonna run with this game and run at that game, right? So it'll be, it'll be kind of a cool way for you guys to know. It's like, hey, well, if I'm gonna buy this combination, how does it actually do um, with what I actually want it to do is kind of the hope. So that is what we're working on. I do like red. Um, it's not my favorite color. I like red, but it is not my favorite color. My favorite color is blue, actually. So, and the deal, like I said, the deals, like we do have deals that are going on right now, but for some reason, they just disappeared. They're deals from ghosts, apparently. There we go. And the reason that this is red is not because I like red. It is red because of its Asus ROG themed. And we had to make sure that with Asus and ROG is red and black. So that's why this is red, not because I like red. I mean, I like red, but that, that's, it's more theming than anything else in just in this particular case. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna get these even. I'm gonna top down so you guys can see how that looks. And there you go. Now, how does that look? Nice and clean. Might I say, yes, I will. Thank you very much. That looks great. Okay, we have one more little cable to run. The top left, this is our CPU cable. I'm gonna throw one little thing on that. Yeah, it looks, that looks nice, doesn't it? I think that looks very clean. Okay, now we're gonna do and just add one cable comb here. Make sure that I did that right. Did I do that right? No, I didn't. Went the other way. We got one that's gonna go in the top left. 
Yeah, it, I agree. Yellow does, like yellow is not, if you are a fan of yellow, yellow is definitely not a good color for RGB lights. Um, the Caveman, I don't know if you guys saw the splat build that I did. Um, I sent some, did anybody see the finished version? Um, the finished version looks uh, of the, the colored build that I, uh, the, the liquid cooled build that we did. Um, that one, I don't know if you guys saw the video up on YouTube or on TikTok. Um, but yeah, it came out, that, that green and yellow actually came out pretty nice. So there we go. Okay, we'll run that. That is the last cable outside of single power cable. I've got to run. Okay. You can like basically give you a preview though of what the build is going to look like. It's going to be very close to that. We got one more cable to plug in, but that is pretty much it, guys. That is what the front of the build will look like when it's done. So that is that is a that is a done build, minus uh, minus a couple uh, couple plugs from the power supply. Yeah, outside of that, it's actually in really good shape. Purple and white does look. I've done some purple and white builds, and they look uh, they look particularly good. Red also looks good. Red and white looks good. Um, I think a lot of builds have done a lot of red, so it makes it a little hard. I think it's been done a lot, which makes it kind of tough. Um, but it's still it's still a very clean looking build. And I think this one will look really clean because of just all of the other parts of it, especially it'll, it'll just be very ROG themed. Um, there's very little I can do to not make this look ROG themed. Um, and you guys haven't seen, you guys haven't seen the front cover yet, so I'll show you that in here in just a few minutes. Um, okay, what do I need? I'm gonna put this over here and I just need to turn this over. And 9.30, let's quickly see if we can get the PSU installed. And then that is it. Ugh. Okay, we'll grab our PSU real quick. And you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna hate this because the PSU, you have to actually put in upside down with this case. It's not the best, but it is what it is. Ugh. This definitely has more than enough power. That is for sure. This is more than a more than enough power. Even though it says 850, this is not an 850 watt PSU. This is actually the 1200 watt PSU. So, our cables, and here is actual power supply. There we go. You guys can see it here. And this one has the OLED, so we'll be able to see what it does real time here. Open this bad boy up. I had to like cut this. I had to cut this because of, is there it is right there. In her, there it is. See that again will look really good. It will actually go in upside down because you want the, you want this to be on right, um, which is kind of a problem. So if you put it in the right way, which luckily this is a very powerful PSU, but if you put it in the right way, um, the, the OLED is actually upside down. So, oh, hello. Demon table, demon table. Okay. Okay. Okay, and that anymore. Grab the cables we need. Put this down here. Okay. And here is all our cables. And our beefy boy power supply cable. We do not need this anymore either. Because we've used this power supply finally. Okay.
Can I have this PC? No. Fortunately, no. This is actually going to replace my streaming PC. So yes, I do need this actual, I do need this PC. It's not something I can just give away, unfortunately. I'm sorry. I'm a monster. But you can still win the Star Wars PC. That PC is still up for grabs. There are still PCs that you can still win. Okay, there's all our cabling. What we are gonna do is go ahead and push these as far as we can and then twist them down. Make sure they cover as much of this as we can. Lock those down. Okay, now the very end of this is just a lot. We need a lot of SATA power connectors. So that's a Molex. I don't need Molex. Let's open this up so we can get rid of the stuff I don't need. I don't need Molex. I don't need Molex. This is Molex. That is SATA. That is Molex. SATA. SATA. Okay, there's our SATA cables. Nobody's SATA about that. Ha ha. Ah, okay, you didn't think of Okay, <clears throat> now we need, there is, and these are actually provided by Cable Mod, which is interesting. These are actually Cable Mod cables. This is PCIe, that is just one to one if I cared, but I don't, I don't want to use that. I want to split one. That is PCIe. Okay, so they actually give you, they actually want you to use, there's a CPU, okay. And there's a PCIe. Okay, so I need the two CPU. There's one CPU. There's one CPU. Those are PCIe. There's your. There we go, and that can go in there. Okay. Okay. Is that addressable? I mean, this might be one of these. Might be the addressable RGB. There it is. Okay. There's an addressable RGB, so I can make the color match. Find one more RGB header, not a big deal. I think there's one in the top corner. Okay. We're just gonna go ahead and plug in all of our power cables now, of which on this bad boy, there's a lot of room. Look at, look, look at that. That's, that's like, hey, uh, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you have enough places to plug stuff in? 1200 watts, baby, that's a, Big boy PSU. Okay. Okay. We're gonna grab all these. These are all our all our peripheral stuff. It needs more power. For sure. Okay, there's one. our PCIe. Like we're at the end of the build. Cause y'all, I mean, this part's the easy part. Cause once you're done with this, you just kind of, there's that. Pressable RGB for our Aura Sync. Which the cool thing is, is with Corsair, which I'm also pretty happy about, and Aura Sync, now all of my stuff can be controlled by IQ. So when I make it red, everything will be red. There's our RGB header. I think this is gonna go up here. There's gonna be an RGB header up there. First time plugging in. You think you think that's what's gonna happen, Power? I hope not. I hope I hope that is not what happens. There we go. Another one. One more power plug, just to make sure we have enough for all the SATA, because there's a lot of freaking SATA power needs. This thing with all the freaking extra crap. There go, and then two CPUs and that's it. Okay, two CPU cables, and I gotta run all these through the, I gotta run all these like through this little hole here in a minute. I'm gonna take up a lot of this room here. It, luckily, there's no drive trace. Okay, there's CPU one. CPU one, CPU two, and we're done. Yay! 
All the cables are plugged in. So many cables. Thank you for subscribing. Trundlebutt. That's a nice name. Trundlebutt. What's up, Trundlebutt? Okay, there we go. Okay, now what we do, we're going to stick this on its side. We want this to actually go up, which is backwards, but in order to have the RGB work, the way, I mean the, the thing to work the right way, this is how it has to go. Yeah, I need the plugs. Hold on, I gotta grab the, the one thing I didn't grab is all the, the uh, screws. Right in here. And where they're at. Here. Okay, screw time. Last of the screws. These are for our need our PSU screw. There's somewhere in here. You give me PSU screws. I wonder if this is the right the right plug thing. I wonder if this might not be the one that we just these are them. Yep, they're there. Okay. PSU screws. Okay, where is my bracket? Oh shoot. I messed it up, didn't I? Shoot. Oh, this is the right way. Yeah, that looks right. Putting in our PSU screws. Here we go, one more PSU screw. PSU screws has disappeared. They give me, they give me cable combs. There's just, oh, there's some. It's nice that they gave you cable combs. These I've been happy about. We're gonna use those here in a minute. Some nice, look at that. Nice uh, cable mod cable combs. We'll save those for later. Never use them, but what I need is this. One more. Okay. Last screw. Where is it? There it is. Last screw. Well, you guys, we started with one build. We finished with another. But at the very end, all we got to do is plug in these little bits of power, run these little bits of cables, and we have run. We actually still have accomplished the goal of giving me a replacement PC. It was not the one I started with. I'm just as happy with it. And this will be less of an issue because I'm not going to have to take this one apart because this is completely independent of the other build. So let us just run these last cables through, hook it all up and turn it on and see how it goes. All these power cables, all this isn't necessary. Here we go, Here we go. Okay. Did I put this on right is the question. Or did I put it on backwards? Curious if this is on right. Nope. I think I put this on backwards. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, well, we're gonna turn this around. I put the uh, bracket on wrong. Easy fix.
Okay, here we go. Turn, had to turn the bracket around real quick. But that's not going to work. There we go. One more screw. And there we go. Okay. Now, screw this in. The whole thing is in. There we go. And there we go. Okay. Now, for the last part, grab our EPI. Uh, that's not, uh, I need the power, the CPU cables. There's one. Need two of these. There's one, and there's another one. Not that one. There it is, right there. These go up here, as does this. So those three cables go up there. Need one. Split. I'll figure out which one here in a minute. Goes up there. This one plugs into here. There we go. One thing I do like about these cable mod cables that they gave you with this CPU, with this power supply, is that honestly, they're very easy. They're very easy and flexible, which makes it nice in terms of in terms of that stuff. So cool. Okay. This goes, first off, there's like one little thing that I do not want to lose down here. So I'm going to make sure that is up because these are all the stupid SATA things that, oh, you turn it all on and you're like, why is this not working? Because there's some random SATA cable that is hidden. Okay, there's that. Okay, there's that. And then the last ones are down here. I don't want to get them too. I want to make sure that they're not twisted. These are our cable extensions. You want to make sure that they have lots of room to move. So we're making sure that is good. There we go. And there we go. Okay. The last thing I got to do now, that's all done, is find all of these data cables and get them all plugged in. So I'm going to do these two because they're kind of off on its own down here. There should be two of them here. There they are. There's, no, nope, that's not one. There it is. These two, which are off on their own. I'm going to plug these two into their own. There's one. And this one will go down below it. There we go. Okay. There's that. This will go way up here. Our power cable for this. And we got two more. The best we can here with this one. There we go. And then this one goes right here. There's that one, and then there was one more. I think this is the last one. It was right here, and then we have extra in case we need it. Next one, okay. Let us, real quick. Again, the whole hope here is just to make sure the build looks clean in the back and in the front. That one. Then we have this one. There go. These two flat. Oh, jeez. 
was like trying to read chat and I realized that my didn't see my chat all of a sudden. There you go. And the last one. It off. Get unplugged or sorry guys, looking at it. My my laptop shut off there. stuff is kind of clean looking we have some extra ones that will soap down back over here and we just got to make sure the front I need to get like one of the things I'm gonna have to do I'm wondering if I might do this I'm gonna do real quick is I'm going to quickly good fit nicely yeah. you'll see what I'm doing here in a sec So got to run. I got a couple more cables to run. We'll fix those real quick. And we're pretty much done with this build. Okay. Ugh. We got an addressable RGB header. We have a addressable RGB header that's got to be up here somewhere. There it is right there. I found that. And then we have a single one of these. Hit run. Grab this. Oops. from this to be able to get up there a little bit more okay let me grab this addressable rgb header real quick this i'm gonna go over here yeah that little light i just put my lights in it's easy to want, look at, you can see it. Come on, baby. There we go. That's the right way. Okay, accessible plug is in. We just have one more cable. Sorry. This is our power cable. Hot up. cabling is hooked up okay done I'm gonna put one more part in
There we go. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now we have all that. I'll turn it around. You guys can see, and then we'll got to run a couple more fixes. Ugh. Nope, not roaming. Top down. Nope, not opening. There we go. Okay. Run our last little cable management. And then that is it. The whole PC is hooked up. And there's one cable that's just not quite. Let's see where I can run this over here. Looks pretty clean, both from a cable management standpoint and a build standpoint. There you go. It's just easier to just do this. Putting our last little ARGB cable down here. Just like this. On my go. Go. Okay. Here we go. Just zip tie some of these together. Back looks nice. Go. How's that look? Looks pretty nice. I'm gonna go ahead and just for the sake of cleanliness, do one more. Make that look a little bit nicer. There we go. I think that looks good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Moment of truth now. Does it run? I will be honest, this PC has been kind of placed all over the place for a while, never been finished. And we are now at the point for a surprise, surprise, we're gonna just all of a sudden turn this bad boy on and see how it's going. Okay, I'm gonna clean up our space here real quick. This feels like that's the best thing to do. Okay, there we go. Grab one. Oh. Screw the shot wheel here. Okay. There we go. All ready to go. All lit up and ready to go. Gotta make sure it works. This is the moment of truth. To make sure. Oh, did I forget to? Oh, uh, sorry. One sec, guys. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Who's ready? Twelve subs. Just gonna give me six more subs when this is done. That is a question.
everything ready for this. Make sure it's centered. Get into our chat real quick so I can see. Here we go. Okay. Power cable. Ugh. Oh, the whole thing stopped. Okay. Hold on one sec, guys. I didn't know the whole thing shut off. It's not, not coming on here, but I can see it here. Okay. okay, here we go. Is it all, it's all straight. You guys can see a little wonky cattywampus here with this. Fix that real quick. There we go. There we go. It's not quite. You guys are like, just turn it on, but I want it to look great when it goes on. Okay. Oh, oh, I see lights. Oh, I see lights. That is a good sign, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. Question is, yep. I see lights and fans and beautifulness. It is all there. Must be dead. There it is, Woot. Look at that. That is an Asus ROG themed PC. Now, you guys haven't seen the best part. Check this out. I'm gonna put the back on real quick. Finish this out. Because you guys haven't seen all of this stuff. So I'll put this back on real quick. And you guys can see the rest of the theme. Because it's not, it's themed all the way. Oh, come on. Roby, come on, you are, you can do this. There we go, okay. Feel the back here, feel the back here. Ready? Watch this. Okay, let's, I don't know if you've seen the front. Try to do it the front. Put it somewhere. Front is around here. Oh, there it is. I don't know if you guys have seen the front, but here, look at this. This is the front of the case. That's what it, the front looks like, so we'll put that on. There we go. And then finally, I got the side. You guys can see the whole theme build. Come on. Oh, you're going to win. Hand eye coordination for the win. <laughs> Boom. Here we go. And there it is. An Asus ROG themed PC. It's gonna come in, it's gonna come in here. I'm, I'm watching you guys are gonna see it. I'm gonna get it on. It's like, wow, it's like watching you guys. I'm watching like you guys go deal with the pain at the same time. Okay, here it goes, there it goes, watch. Boom. Look at that. You can do exclamation point PC, and that's what that'll be. That is an Asus ROG completely themed PC. And there you guys can see like the, well, I'm trying to get it so you guys can see the front a bit. But yeah, there it is. How's that look? Yeah, I know the graphic covers. Yeah, that's a good point. I didn't, I that's a, of all the things, like everything, like we got everything else, everything else looks good. You still see the lighting, it'll all be red and all that sort of stuff, but for the most part, like, and then the front looks super good. Like it is a great looking PC that we got here. Um, he did it, like, 
So the whole front is actually a, um, what's the word, carbon fiber. So the, the logo itself is carbon fiber and uh, we'll get it all, we'll get it all, um, everything will be red, right? Because it'll all be red and ROG themed. But yeah, it's, uh, everything in here is like high-end Asus, high-end Asus parts. And this was the whole theme, like, that, like it's funny because like this PC has been just kind of sitting here. Um, and now it's all done. You guys were all a part of that. So we saw the $25 with the GPU lighting up for sure. What do you mean it looks, looks weird? What do you mean? I think it's, I, yeah, it looks sweet. Okay, um, let's go ahead and do that giveaway, guys. Let's do the $25. Thank you very much, man, Orange Bear, for the thousand embers. Okay, let's go ahead and do that giveaway for $25 new gift card. Um, and uh, we'll end the night with that. Where is my giveaway? Thank you very much, everybody, for hanging out. I know that was a lot longer than you expected. But here we go. $25 new gift card starting now. Subs get extra entries. Yeah, the parts list is exclamation point PC. So yeah, if you want to check that out, there it is right there. And the build, another build done. Not, not what we started with, not what we expected, but just as awesome, I must say, just as awesome and just as clean, I, I will add. So I am pretty excited about this, um, this whole build. I think it, I think it came out fantastic and looks really good. So. We'll get some, well, uh, tomorrow, what we'll do, why don't we do this tomorrow? Uh, when we start, after we go in there, we'll put the OS on it and get it all red and all that sort of stuff so it looks all primo and clean. I think that would be a good idea. So that way you guys get maximum effect and awesomeness with the build. Three minutes, guys. That looks so good. That looks so good. I'm super happy with how this turned out. That looks, it looks, it looks fantastic. Just saying, it looks really good. Fair and I kind of expected and I'm happy. I, I expected a lot, but um, yeah. Okay, there we go. Have a look, sorry, I'm, I'm gonna close this thing. It's like being weird. Have a look at Fantex Loop 2 for the sixth how we look at the Fantex Lux 2 for the 6K. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Creative. I need to, yeah, I need to buy. But the thing is, is that here's a deal. Um, that this that was just going to be a temporary build because it's going in the Fantex, uh, sorry, the um, Lee and Lee D05 is actually the the seat, the thing it's going into. And so uh, it's, it's like, it's not a big deal for me to not actually finish that build because it's going into uh, a Kate. It's going into a desk, so. Yeah. No, Major Gamer Geek, we didn't get to 60 subs. So we still have 46 seconds left on that one. We have to get to 60 subs. Um, but I, uh, there, there is a giveaway, there is some GPU giveaways, a 2060 and some other GPU giveaways coming in at the end of the month for a special stream at the end of the month on Saturday, the last Saturday of May. So I've got a couple GPUs that you don't have to hit sub markers for that we'll be giving away, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, thank you for looking up the case, right? They, they, I would super appreciate that, but yeah. You can enter from Scotland as long as, as long as Newegg sells there, which I think UK wise it does, then you are good, you are free to enter, for sure. You do not have to feel like you cannot enter. You are free to enter. Yeah, it's the D05. If you're looking up the desk, it's, I think it's the D05, I think is the desk name, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, what's up, Trix? How are you, man? So how you doing, Trey? Another day, another build. I, uh, it wasn't the build that we started with, but we ended with it, and it's done. So yeah, it was, a, it was a bit of a surprise today. Bit of a surprise build today, which is always the fun, which is always fun. When you uh, end up not doing what you, ex when you ended up not getting what you expected and when you started. Okay guys, well I got, like to give it a little time. If you guys have some questions while the, we're getting ready to choose the, uh, choose the winner, 
Um, so if you have any questions or anything like that, now's the time to ask. I don't know why this isn't working. This is, yeah, this is just dead. Yeah, I have to charge it. I have to charge my little portable monitor. Uh, the old rig is old. I don't know. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with it yet. So yeah. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do with the old rig. That's a good question. I don't have one. Draw a winner. I know I'm waiting. I'm waiting to draw a winner. Um, just wanting to know last questions or anything like that. Okay, winner for today is House on a Hill 805. Congratulations, House on a Hill. You are the winner for the $25 New A gift card. So, yeah, that is, you are the winner, my friend. I want to say thank you very much to everybody who stuck around for the stream. Um, all the people who, all the people who basically hung out today. Um, uh, you know, we had, I think when we peaked today, I mean, I don't even know how many people we had. We had a bunch. So we are back tomorrow. There's still 700 people hanging out. Uh, so we are back tomorrow uh, at 6.30. Uh, we are going to be fixing a broken motherboard uh, in the um, Corsair, the Corsair Spec Omega case. The MSIs, we're going to be placing a motherboard in that. We're going to be getting the, um, we're going to be going through deals. So if you want to get the special stuff, um, we're going to be, we're going to be doing that as well. Um, we're also going to be, uh, bench testing some of that stuff, getting all the bench tests ready to go. And then Friday, we'll be doing a case review for the H710, uh, using a 3900 build. So it'll also be awesome. We'll throw uh, some GPUs in there. We'll make it look really good. So we'll, we'll do a test of a build and put all that stuff together. Um, we might give away the old rig. We'll have to figure that out. So anyway, guys, you guys have been simply amazing. Thank you very much for hanging out and we will see you tomorrow.